See, you can have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> mama, we going live and she she know I went live. You at home? <laughs> Where y'all recording that at? <laughs> I get that. So many people ask me that. Anyway. That's that's something like when people ask people who cuts your hair or who does it. Like I, I'm feeling you cu- who who's cutting your well, it's a mixed thing. Who cut your hair like? Damn, Joe, who cut your hair? <laughs> <laughs> or damn, bro, who cut your hair? That shit wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I had, I've had it twice, like, differently. Like, who cut your hair? Like, basically, somebody had fucked your shit up. Right. Or, but normally I get positive. Um, reviews. If, if somebody said, who cut your hair? It's probably some shit I didn't need. Did. Like, <laughs> <I> did. <laughs> you cut your hair with Oh, yeah. I get myself the, 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 the Michael Jordan. Oh, I remember, I remember that. Yeah, I, I will. I, I used to get one. Yeah, I will get myself a Michael Jordan. That's when I'm going through barbers. You see what I'm saying? Like, I I, mean, I don't like how that motherfucker cut. Well, oh, yeah. Man, I mean, I, I just, result. yeah, I'd rather just do this <laughs> shit myself. You know, so I have had situations like that. Which I, I don't think, um, I actually think it's a, a talent. Just, I just, just the time. My pizza just got here five <laughs> minutes ago. What's up? Dark skinned fella, light skinned fella. <laughs> Fella and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey man, you still me. got on them naughty ass shirts? <laughs> huh? You still got on them naughty ass shirts? You know what I'm talking about? First of all, call me red skin fella, goddamn it. I'm, I'm red. You know, we the, we the true Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Natasha, how you doing? What's going on? I'm triggering my trauma. Take <laughs> 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 Be careful. Oh, man. Let me pull it up here on two. Oh, oh he said, no, the title should be You're, You're Toxic and Should Be Canceled. That was a good title, too, right there, Natasha. Hmm. Oh, sheesh. What? Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Oh. Uh, we got, like, how many we got now? 60. 60 growing, man. Are we? 60. We 60 yeah. I ain't tell you I made three more new accounts. <laughs> 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 I'm a bot. Get them. What was I saying? Oh yeah, as far as haircuts, though, I will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think um, every man should at least have their own set of um, um, clippers. You know, and just I'm, I'm not saying become like you know that a master barber or anything, but just kind of know how to do some basic trim up of yourself, kind of line up your own beard or whatever it is. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day to like, yeah, we in the hood. Uh, <laughs> the, to when like in between haircuts so you can clean up a yeah. couple strings that's coming in mm-hmm. just to get a little couple nicks and stuff yeah. just to still make it look a neat neat because you never know what might pop up yeah. during the week and you're not yeah, able to get the, to the in, bar yeah, in between or, the, in between yeah, haircuts yeah. and stuff like yeah. that yeah. the way to show this video is triggering my trauma um, what uh, all three the viewer are talking yeah. should be canceled <laughs> <laughs> oh I wanted to oh my goodness what is it respect the roots respect the roots respect the roots so so I I do have the the beard oil. Yeah. I got the uh, balm. Yeah. I do believe it's balm. And, um, what else is that? The co wash. I think it's good. Okay. Niggas, good stuff smells amazing. Um, Absolutely. The co wash, I don't, I don't particularly like the foam thing. Like, before I, do you got a co wash? I had it, yeah. I used right, it you used it up quick, didn't you? Well, fairly quick. Like, it's coming yeah. out as foam. So yeah. it's like, yeah. I almost threw that shit away. <laughs> I got like a half bottle left and I don't even touch it no more because it's like, it's pointless. Well, I threw it on today. I think, you know, if when I remember, put on a cold wash or whatever. Uh, the, so what, I, what, it's just a suggestion. Maybe, you know, if they ever want to sponsor the show or something like that. <laughs> well, I think they should have actual beard wash. Yes. If they don't have beard yes. wash. They don't have beard conditioner. They don't have uh, beard leave-in conditioner. Mm-hmm. I never heard of beard, beard leave in. So as you can tell, I got a beard, right? I'm, <laughs> I've worn a beard for a while, and um, so I've dealt with different products. Yeah, and th- those are some of the things that they do offer. So you know, it's more a suggestion. I'm not saying I don't like their products, but I feel like they should be offering more than just you know what I'm saying beard oil. Because a lot of times people think it's just beard oil. What kind of beard oil you use? Like it's just something that's gonna grow your hair. What happens is is that first of all, it's genetics. 
All right, so if your Danny really ain't had no beard or couldn't grow a beard, you probably can't grow one, right? Mm -hmm. Number two is how much testosterone are you putting out, right? So you should be able to, what you're trying to do is really go to the gym, yeah. you know what I'm saying, build up that testosterone. Also, you want to, um, as far as water, how much water are you taking in? Right. It's right, about right. what you're putting in your body <coughs> to help, you know what I mean, whatever growth. It's like growing, hair, growing your regular hair. To help, you know, you just can't put grease in your head and right. expect shit to grow. That's right. not how that works. <laughs> you know what I mean? It needs water and everything else. Yeah. So, and then to help those things, of course, along the way and, and to maximize your growth, then you get the, the beard wash, <clears throat> the conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, the co-wash, and all those other things. Right. It's a yeah. lot of money to be, you know what I'm saying, spend on the beard. Yeah. When you look, when, when you, you really, really look at it. Focus on it, yeah. Right. So, you know, you kind of got to use it sparingly and stuff like that. Those products sparingly. Not sparingly, but be mindful about how much <laughs> about you're using. Portions, yeah, yeah, about your portion. You don't want to overdo it because you'll be gone real quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, You reminded me when you said you can't just put a... Uh, grease in your hair and expect to get waves or expect to, your hair to look nice afterwards. It reminded me in high school, this girl tried to, was having an argument with some other, with somebody else. Uh -huh. She brought me into the conversation. She said, you can get waves by just wearing a do-rag. <laughs> you said that. No, that's not how that she, works. <laughs> <laughs> I know that for a fact. That's not how that works. You got to, waves is about training the hair. Right, that's, and that's what make. I mean, I had to, at the time, I was like, you had waves at the time. Or what was you got? What you got going on? You had a conk. Well, what is that? Exactly, you know. <laughs> exactly. One of them exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mom know about the exactly. exactly. Hey, what do you got on? Hey, exactly. Look, what, what I want you to do when you when you take this, put up a picture of a conk, conk hairdo. Type it in. It, he for the type of the internet. Remember Malcolm X, they was rocking conks. Oh. C O N C H, I think. C O N C H, can't do the hairstyle. C O N C H, oh, yeah, there it is. Like the slip? Yeah, yeah, the conk. Yeah, the conk. Oh, shit, man. You didn't have the conk. No, but I clarified that. I was like, you definitely need, uh, you definitely need uh, to brush your hair. Like, you can't get waves without putting a do-rag on. And that's what the other guy was saying. You can't. Like, like you, can, you can get waves without putting a do-rag But to maximize, you need the do-rag. Because <laughs> you need to let that shit melt overnight. Like, whatever's pressing it down. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So whatever you want to, you got to have the, the hard brush, the very hard brush, and then a soft brush on the other side. Or two brush, a hard I, brush yeah. and a soft brush. But you need to, I hear waves, so I, and then turn around with the soft brush and do a hundred strokes of that. You want to do that every hour? On hour? <laughs> this is how you get the waves, though. You know what I'm saying? This is how you get the waves. Said, the monster had facts on, on the beard topic. I know some fellas that wash their beard with reg, a regular hair shampoo no. when washing their scalp. <laughs> Who's doing this? Hey, get you some new friends, Lamont, because I don't know, you know what I'm saying? They, they, shit, they sell beard wash at, uh, uh, first of all, shout out, the barbershop, 333 North Cicero. You know what I'm saying? They, they sell beard wash there, but if you can't get there, then you can always go to Marshalls or Ross, and they sell some beard wash there. Just some, you know what I'm saying, stuff formulated for your beard, because the, the, the hair that's on your face is different than the hair on your head. Just like the hair on your balls is different I'm than just the hair on your head. The hair on the crack of your ass is right. the same different. It's all different hair, bro. It's different hair. It's not the same. And, I mean, you, and you can literally feel the texture. Like, if you over on the arms, Ooh. the hair on the arms is a little softer and all that. Yeah. Then you go down there, yeah. a little coarser, like this joint is You know what you can do there? Hey, since boy, they I got half of hair on my balls. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. I might be part Look, a little bit. Since, since, like these, since these women out here having, you know, uh, BBLs, you get a hair transplant, fellas. Get some of the hair from the crack of your ass. And yeah. Put on your beard. See how that smell. <laughs> <laughs> do that. Go do that. Tell them. Tell them. Um, Maul sent you too. Lamont said, "No, nah, friends like them limit your mistakes through their failures." Absolutely, you're right, man. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you which way to go, though. Tell mm. and help them out, man. Let them keep making their mistakes, uh, yeah. but then when you find something else, man, tell them don't do that. I definitely need to get a conditioner, though. 
Jerry Pigos. I ain't gonna lie though. I ran out of soap and and you know what I'm saying that body soap and went on here and used that conditioner because guys that nigga that's all I hear. I mean that, not conditioner but the uh, shampoo. Yeah, hey, that's Bro, all I got. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm just I just recently fuzzy than a motherfucker. <laughs> I just recently had a um I bought some body, I bought some what I thought was body wash <laughs> and I found out after I'm almost done that the bottle was shampoo. I know you didn't and much of the in, in, ingredients and shit. You read you read that? <laughs> I know the fuck you just didn't do that. You washed up with a whole bottle of shampoo and didn't know what it was. And much as your ass be right here talking about read and telling other people to read. This I guy, know the fuck you did not just do that. This guy try glycerize. <laughs> This man, this man, this motherfucker body hairy as hell, right? Now. He the shit, he the shit who does body right. and, and, and hydrated his skin. He got hair growing out of shit. You ain't know like, you smell extra good. good. Like you was like, damn, I smell extra good for some soap. Hell yeah, yeah. shampoo normally be the and smell you probably put really, some really good. On your body too afterwards, didn't you? <laughs> He put condition on his body after we got through shampoo with his body. He put the condition on it. Yeah. Like, I might well finish. Yeah, you, you might as well. Hey, them, them hair on your arms, man. Show me on your arms, man. You this shit grew. <laughs> this shit did grew because he opened up the pores on he that. He got waves on that bitch. He put the stocking cap on his arms. He brushing his hair like this on his arms. <laughs> I'm trying to get away. <laughs> trying to get away. Trying to get away. Wrap it up in some, some uh, Saran wrap. You <laughs> try to glitz around. No, try to glitz around. <laughs> okay, so it, it wasn't, the video wasn't coming up at first. Oh, okay. It's like, what's going on here? Oh, man. Yeah, ready? Hey, so, um, you know, we had this. Uh, this uh, you can throw that in the, in the chat real quick. They can look at that video too. We had this video that we had through in our. Um, you know, our group chat. And he gonna insert clip here. <laughs> and then that's when the clip gonna come in, y'all, when we edit the video. So it's gonna be like right well, there. it might be right here. Right there. It's gonna be somewhere over our heads. Somewhere. We don't know where. But he gonna put it somewhere over our heads. Listen, parents. Quit running your house as if it's a fucking democracy. It is not. Your household is a dictatorship. Well, do what I say, do our fucking else. But but now they have this thing called gentle parenting. Oh, I believe in gentle parenting. Do you? You're living, aren't you? Surviving I is not surviving. I was, but, but, but you are surviving. You, you survived it. I, I was That's very gentle. gentle. I was very gentle. I give you passes from time to time. See, you survived that night coming in my house, drunk, throwing up on my damn carpet, in my bathroom, talking about your cycle was on. Your damn cycle wasn't on. You were drunk. Well, at that point, I was way too old for gentle parenting. Gentle parenting is like when they're growing up, you don't whoop them. Oh, hell no. Nah. The don't. Bible says, oh, spare really? the rods for the child. So I believe in whooping that ass. I don't believe in abuse, but I believe in whooping that ass and letting that ass know, reach out and touch somebody's ass. Yeah. Make this world a better place. <laughs> So it was a. Um, he like y'all making too much work for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we had this thing, and it was talking about the title of the clip was "Toxic." It said "Toxic Black Mother." Yeah, "Toxic Black Mother." It said "Toxic Black Mother," so that's where we kind of got the title from. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And he's gonna try to insert the clip in our in the chat right now, so y'all can look at it. And I just wanted to get you know some of the fellas, you know, some of the fellas, um take on the clip that we saw and what, what did they think about the, the, the clip and also I wanted to ask a question it's probably been the next like last two three years or last what three four years three to five years I'm gonna say three to five years why has everything that doesn't have to go with the masses is toxic so if you don't agree with the masses or you don't agree with what everybody else say it's labeled you it labels you as toxic so if you got your own type of the way you're thinking and whatever like that, it's like, oh, he's toxic. She's toxic because she don't like this. Or uh, he's toxic because he got standards and he does this and he got a stern will, what, how we go about things, anything like that. Everything is always toxic when you don't go with the masses. Now, it is some things that is toxic. Now, I'm not going to lie. It is some men that's out here toxic. It is some women that's out here toxic. But it's just a question of why does everybody, oh, you, you put it in there? Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. Oh, why, why does everything is toxic nowadays? Now? You want to go first, uh, Jay? Why is everything toxic? Yeah, like, the, first of all, we're going to go with the video, then we're going to go with the question. Right. What did you think about the video? Oh, so I, I thought the, the um, and like you said, you're going to insert the video so you can get more content. Oh, but you're going to, you can put it in. in you're going to put, yeah, you're going to put, you put it in, in the comment, though, right? Yeah, I think it's for the In the comment bar, but, um, 
I thought the mother hit the nail on the head. Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, my house is a dictatorship. I think yeah. I've heard you say that before. You know, yeah, whatever, you know, as far as as, as as far as my kids, my house is a dictatorship. Like, yeah. you know, you, I mean, you can speak your mind as, as, a, as a child to a degree. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't let To a certain extent. To a certain extent, as long as it's not disrespectful. Yeah. Um, so I, I really don't have a problem with that. But like I said, um, what she said, like, you know, you or, or quote unquote, if you're a follower of the Bible, you believe in the Bible, spare the wild or spoil the child. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it, you, it's consequences. Everything is consequences, it's right? So if it's something that doesn't really align with uh, my mindset or what I'm teaching you, my my values, then it is what it is. I'm going to have to get with you. Ooh, Natasha coming with the smoke. <laughs> She said, being contrarian isn't necessarily toxic, especially if you're standing on facts backed by proper philosophic principles. People are soft. It's a fact, Natasha. It's a fact. Well, what do you think, Natasha, about people being contrarian just to be contrarian? Like, sometimes people are just like... You know I, one. Personally. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's Personally. Some, some people just do that just to do that. I don't know if they do that to drive conversation or they do that to get under people's skin. Yeah. But that might be something, you know, totally different. Yeah. You know, I don't want to digress. So, what you kind of thought about the video? I thought the video was 150% accurate. Okay. I, I don't have any any drawbacks or any qualms or any, any things. You know, you, you know how sometimes you'll watch a video and then someone will say, or you, when, when you put yourself or you're responding to the video, you say, I agree with them on 99% of what they said, but this one thing yeah. I just think would be different with me. Okay. I have no, none of that. Oh, you just agree with that 100%? 100%. 100%. So you beat them kids' ass, is that's what you said? I, yes. Well, what's, for, for well, what, what's your weapon reasons. of choice? <laughs> These hands. These hands. These hands. What? I got a teenager, bro. I get my son some. What? I got the teenager, I don't have to get, I hit him with a jab. Bow! You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I got a teenager. Freshman. He, he he fuck with my wife, his grandma, anything like that. I'ma show him what this I'ma show him what, what grown men do. <laughs> if I come home and he says something to his grandma, to his mama, or some out of line and he buck up his chest or he stick his chest out, let me give him his word. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Natasha I'm gonna says the pair in the video, mother and daughter. I do believe so. That's what I took from it, like they were mother and daughter. Yeah. Oh they was, they was, they was. Yeah. That's our mother and daughter. Okay. So I think the only issue is also that I seen that you know, I could be mistaken, but I didn't really get the whole full context of it. Yeah. Of it was just like, um, was there any father in the home? Because I do believe, I, I believe personally that the father should be the disciplinarian okay, yes, and the yes. mother should be yeah. the nurse. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm stuff. saying? But I mean, there ha there have to be times when the mother, if I'm not around or something, that the mother will. She got to get out. She can get out. She get out. Just as if I'm a, the mother's not around, I'm able to step in and nurture that child as well, as yeah. far as you know, the best of my ability. So. Okay. So go off what I just said. So, Jerry, day you come home. Yeah. You've been working all day. Yeah. Your wife come in now because your son didn't grow because he's going to probably grow. He got the genetics, so he's going to probably be yeah. like six feet two. Uh, hopefully right? he'll be six three, six yes, four. Yes, yeah. And he come in there, and you heard that he done stuck his chest up at your mother oh, no, or your oh, your wife. Yeah. Your wife. That's my wife. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. You're your mother. Yeah. That's my wife, boy. Right. You tripping. Mm -hmm. right. What? Ain't, ain't you finna put the... And the bebop song. Yeah, thank you. So it's no, like, I don't get what people, like, Spaces was sitting there looking at me like, nah, bro. It ain't no belt. It ain't yeah, no weapon of choice. You're going to have to grab them. Yeah, the no, you're going to have to. If, if, if. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm, no, you go. I want to see what you have to. So, I, I'm not opposed to that. In that situation, yes. You got to. When it, you got when to. It comes, when it comes to, uh, one thing I am not tolerant of is disrespect. Oh, that's so fine. Especially I, your mother. Especially. Grandmother. I've, I've been in situations where. Mother and mother and child specifically, let's just say son. Mother and son were talking, and even even with the daughter, uh, son would get get buck with his mother, or the daughter would get smart with her mother. And even in those situations, I'm not related to the people at all. I'm just witnessing the situation. Or even if I'm I, even if I am related to the people, uh -huh. I want to step in and say, hey. Don't talk to your mother like hey, that. Mind your it's, business. I'm, 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 you can't, but mind your no, business. I'm saying. They're going to jump on you. <laughs> mind your business. I'm not. I wouldn't insert myself. In okay, that, I get you. Um, unless I feel comfortable with me and I'm comfortable with the I got bang on me. I'll say something and then they want to both. I'll pop both their ass. It's nothing. No, no, it's I, nothing. I start a grown, I start other people they, they, It's aggression. No. Yeah, and now if it's like physical and I see somebody beating the hell out of somebody else, yeah. I try to break it up and separate it. But far as like, you let him, because to me, ain't no kid from all of a sudden just start talking back, 
sticking their chest out. This is how you let motherfuckers get away with an inch, they take a mile. You keep letting kids do things, right. they keep going as far as how they can go. Mm -hmm. Your yeah, kid yeah. ain't never did no shit like that because he know what's up, right? Yeah. They know what's up. Right, right, right. Because right. I didn't have plenty of times where my fiance talking to my son and all this and that, and she said, you know what, I'm going to tell your daddy. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, no, I need you to deal with me. I don't want no problems with him. I need you to deal with me. I think that's something similar to what uh, Natasha is saying. They said, thank you for the background. The mother on the video isn't toxic, uh, per se, um, but um, she may be extreme, mind you. When parents establish rules, um, kids need to be ready for consequences if they break them. That's a fact. So, that's a yeah. fact. That's a fact. So, so how I looked at the video, I was 100% on her uh, thing, too, because I'm, I'm on the same sense of that. This is not no... Uh, what, what's, what, what's hers? This is dictatorship in my career. I've been said that a long time ago. Fiance too, you get in line too. Everybody got rules over here. I got rules too that I gotta follow. Put some gunshots in there. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody in this household. When you come in my household, because that is my household, it's rules that you follow. I don't care if you my brother. I don't care if one of my homies gotta come in here. You gotta stay a couple days. It's rules that we follow in this house. Everybody has to follow those rules, grown right. folks included, right. if you stand under this roof. So therefore, it's consequences behind the rules that go. Now, I'm not extreme as to she is because it is a dictatorship. I will hear out my son and I always tell my son, anything that you don't agree with, it's a respectful way to say it. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get out your body, all that, you, what you're trying to say is going out the window. We didn't care what you say because you said it disrespectfully. Ruth said it's not a democracy. Shout yeah. out to OG Horse. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, not a democracy. I'm it's not a dictatorship. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> ain't no votes around this motherfucker. <laughs> so, like, so I always tell them it don't matter if I said something, your grandma said something, your mother. If you don't agree with what we said or how we said it, you come to us respectfully and say, "Oh, I don't agree with this. This is my thought process. This, this, and then the third. Yeah. But you still stay under our roof, so you still gonna follow our rules. That's just how it goes. Ain't no, oh, I get to say so. Like, but that's every you can you can un, every since we've been not gonna say we, but since the society that talking about you gotta listen to your kids, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. <laughs> have kids been getting totally out of control since then? Yeah, absolutely. So ever since we've been telling kids, oh, you gotta say so, you got an opinion. No, you don't. You don't pay no bills. What you gotta say so for? I don't get that. That's not that's not going on in my house. You can say what you want to say. Say, oh, kid, yeah, they do, but to a certain extent. And you need to cut that shit off. Like, no, I don't want to hear that shit right now. If I tell you clean up, clean up your room, it's not going to be a, a back and forth. Yeah, hey, <laughs> but no, dad. But what you call them clean up this room and I can just live junk if I want to. This is my room. What the fuck you mean? This is my house. <laughs> OG say don't use my government name. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody know it was your government until you said it. <laughs> <laughs> but but I just thought, and then the, what, what really killed me too with the video, I know that y'all seen it, is that just because she said, and you don't agree with what she said, it said toxic black mother. And when I sent it to Jay every day, I told him, he said he loved the video. And the first thing I said is, they said toxic. I don't see toxic. I see a mother that cares about her kids and trying to get her kids in line before they go out in these streets and these streets get them in line. Bars. That's what I saw. I didn't see no toxic nothing. I ain't see, because she reminded me just as my grandmother and my uh, my goddamn mama, rest her soul. <laughs> she reminded me just as my... OG said, you don't have a room in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she reminded you of your grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother and my mother. That's what the lady reminded me of, man. So it's just, and then another question that I have for y'all. Y'all through with the video? Uh, I think, I think to, to go further with what you were saying, I think... Uh, the abandonment of discipline of children definitely is causing behavioral issues overall. That's a fact. Right. And then to, to what you were saying earlier, right? Oh, so, real quick, then not to cut you off, but is it discipline or corporal punishment? Elaborate on corporal punishment. Yeah, when you getting your ass beat. Oh. <laughs> I'll be trying to see you, you see I'll be trying to not cut. You know what I mean? But you elaborate not not niggas know when you getting your ass beat. They know that. Hey, cause I was like, what the fuck is corporal punishment? See? I thought it was the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the same thing. He said, no, I'll get your ass beat. So I think you the 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 proper way, the way I would do it in my house when I do have kids is corporal punishment. I'll be using corporal punishment as of as discipline. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Corporal punishment as discipline. As discipline. Like, 
and it, it just reminded me because I watch, I was watching this uh, animal video right, and it was it was two dogs. It was a group. It was at least at least two dogs. One one was the leader, of course. You know, one was the leader, and the other one wasn't. But the, a third dog got introduced to the the group that already existed, mm. and the leader of that group, it was a baby. It was a puppy, by the way. The leader of the group was like roughhousing the puppy, and I'm like. So y'all just go, and in my head I'm thinking, y'all, is that is that how they do things or whatever? But then the person that was narrating the video said, that's how animals establish superiority. Okay. Yeah. That's how, establish dominance, I'm sorry. Yeah. Establish mm-hmm. dominance. They, the, the leader of the pack or whatever, rough houses, any newcomers. Mm-hmm. But but like the lady said in the video, I believe in discipline, but I don't believe in abuse. It's a yeah. fine line of how you yeah. can discipline your kids on 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 and establish corporal punishment, like Jay every day say. Then the study like beating the hell out of your kids yeah. just for no reason and shit and going overboard. I think that's what they used to do back in the day, though. They used to uh, they used to buke the kids, like you know what I'm saying. Like they used to put up, you know. There's one thing with the belt, you know, and like, I, you know, I've said in the previous podcast is that, you know, I had graduated to the extension court and, and, and Maul said he had graduated and I, he had graduated to some oak. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So they can beat with the branches. Oak cherry, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, boy, look here. Man. Got a story. Yeah, Rest dogged. my mother's soul. That's my beauty. Mm-hmm. Greetings to you as well. Greetings, greetings. My, uh, my brother did something. And I think it's, my brother did something. I don't know what it was. But he tried to run from my mother and my mother had a boom right next to her. And he caught the end of the broom on his motherfucking nose. And he was in there crying. He said, I'm going to tell the people at school. She said, when you go tell them, they're going to take you. And I'm going to fuck them up, too. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother loved the shit. And I don't, I don't, my mother, there wasn't no abuse at all. My brother probably deserved it, though. Because we were some bad, I ain't going to say we were some bad kids. No, no, you said it before. Y'all was throwing, well, you. No, 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 we we was doing some like crazy <laughs> shit as kids. Last you know week. <laughs> <laughs> Last week. We was doing some I didn't even know that nigga was French. You is Haitian though. <laughs> so you might be fun. Nigga spin that French. Alright, I feel you spin that for time one. You with it, you with it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't record the podcast. Start telling stories and shit. We oh got video evidence of me saying, no, I'm, no, saying man, I'm, you, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I got, got you, video man. evidence. That, that house over there, whatever. Yeah. It's a you lot now. No, you don't know what you don't know what street I was saying though. God damn it. I know. I ain't gonna put it out there. <laughs> you didn't tell me before. I ain't gonna put it out there. Go ahead. Did I tell you? Oh, probably did. You did. Oh, you did. I tell you after the podcast. <laughs> Trust me. I'm a listener. <laughs> probably did. <laughs> All need that, this is a rude uh, comment. All need discipline. Some children respond well to conversations. Other require corporal punishment. That that is that's, a, that's a fact, OG. That's that's a fact. And I was like, because I think somebody in the comments said that too. You got to know your kids, because sometimes you have badass kids that that's the only thing that they do. I so need like, my ass beat. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, oh, I got a prime, prime example. One, my little brother. One of the, the the older son, you can just talk to him. <laughs> the youngest son, you got to beat his ass. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't gonna. No, 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 no. We we we'll delete that. Anyway. <laughs> no, no. But it's lie though anyway. No, I thought you was gonna say, uh, like, nah, you telling everybody else. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. We're gonna tell the story. But no, like my brother, he got like badass kid. Like, yeah, love my love my nephews to death. Love him. But the, the the youngest one, yeah, he's 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 he the one. He he gonna be with the shit stuff. We already said we was in, you know how you have family thing. Yeah, like bro, they gonna, gonna get into shits. it, right? They gonna get into it, yeah. and they gonna go get him, yeah. cause he gonna be the one that's be with the shits mm-hmm. and gonna be defending everybody. He gonna he get the one. You know you got. It's you know how it's always one, it's always one that be on there with the shits. It's like man, this little nigga bad. Yeah, yeah, he he with the shit. Hey man, what's up with the intro though? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> go ahead. Welcome to another episode of the No Key Podcast. I'm your man, Spaces. Hey, this your boy, Ma. It's Jay every day. Man, we just <laughs> talked for 30 minutes, but... Hey, that was What's a good comic, on? though, man. It was a real What's good comic. How, how was y'all last week? It was man? beautiful, man. It was yeah. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so why was it beautiful? If you, you want to... I mean, because we get to wake up every... You know, we wake up... <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? God bless us with another day. Uh, my mother's birthday was yesterday. Oh, God bless her, you know. Happy birthday, uh, birthday, Mama J. Uh, today's my sister's birthday. God Ooh, bless her. Happy the birthday, sister J. As a matter of fact, I think she's in the chat. That's Naps and Beauty. What's up, Naps and Beauty? Hey, happy you know birthday, Naps and Beauty. I got to give them a shout out. You know, we went and had lunch today at Jay, at Jay Alexander's. You know what I mean? And, Good uh, steaks. You know, Good steaks on Jay. Well, first of all, I had swordfish. <laughs> Good steaks. I mean? Uh, my mother had steak, so. Uh, uh, um, but in general, the week was good. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves, and that was it. Happy awesome. birthday! Thank you, <coughs> thank you, uh, Natasha. Uh, I'm 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 on the same sentiment uh, with you every day because um, people people don't. It's an underrated blessing for you to go back and forth to work every day and come home safely, and people don't thank God enough for that. I'm always on that. I know Jay every day didn't hear me say that plenty of times. No spaces didn't hear me say that. It's a blessing for you. To go to work safely. Do your job what you need to do safely. Come back home to your family safely. And we don't give God enough credit for that. Thanks. You know what's crazy that you say that this past week, I, it just dawned on me. It, it, feels, um, <laughs> it feels amazing to just be able to breathe freely. It's a fact. Unassisted, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, pops, what's going on, pop? OG, what up? OG Curtis, <laughs> pops, what's going on? He uses full government, too. That <laughs> old school dude, right? that's an old school dude, right there. No, no steak, OG. I just I had a piece of my mother's uh, uh, steak, you know, just to see how it was. I didn't get because I was trying to keep the view as low as possible. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. you know, when you're taking people out, you just go ahead and let them ball, you know, so <laughs> you let them ball. A hey, boy, he's about to get a cheeseburger. Man, Hey, hey, shit. <laughs> I was just going to have that steak, that Caesar, I mean, not the steak, just the Caesar salad, $13. <laughs> y'all, y'all go ahead and eat. Yeah, y'all go ahead. I'm going to have this water. And, and this I, bread. And bread. Free water. And, and I, bread. Well, they didn't. That's one thing I, I didn't even think about. It. You don't even get no rolls and no bread. Why? I, I didn't think about it. I don't know. Hey, that's bread. not nothing. Hey, they owe you some bread. But, right? the, but yeah, they probably do. I'm going to go back and I'm going to yeah. give them my bag of bread. No. But, um, oh, no, I'm going to give you a couple dollars off the bread then. But it's free. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but uh, but the calamari was banging. They had calamari okay. in yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was good. So yeah. Yeah, she said mama was going in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah mama yeah. was going in. Yeah, she extra. That's why I have to dial back because I know I have to pick up whatever she's gonna do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Natasha said, "I wake up every day grateful. The first words out of my mouth is a prayer of thankfulness." Absolutely. Hey, that's a straight fact, Natasha. You know when somebody ordered, a, they finna order something on the menu and yeah. they say MKT. And don't have a price. That's what my mother was like. I'll just have. I say. I say that M, that's, that's MKT. I mean market. You know what I mean? Whatever is going, that, that could be a hundred, two hundred dollars. You're not finna MKT me today, though. She tried to MKT me today. Okay. 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 Well, what I say, <laughs> yeah. Mama's my mama lying in the pockets. Mama yeah. say, look. Boy, I barely see you. I only see you on Sundays. And boy, I know you be at work. I know you got. It. You gonna spend it today? It's the day my birthday. I don't get to see you. You gonna spend some of that money? Yeah, she tried to give me with the MKT. Yeah, you dr you dry them big things. You gonna spend some of that money today? She tried the ultra, ultra. <laughs> yeah, she, she tried, tried to get the pockets. Wipe her up a cut. Yeah, she tried, mama tried to get the pockets, B. Uh, <laughs> so, what was we have on the thing? Babe? Then we have like we gonna get like ask the questions. So, I actually had something that one. Okay, go ahead. So. I was taking this from. Chair every day, 2023. Thanks, man. I didn't even know that that, that was a thing. What MK? MKT. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I know. When I see that, I look right over that. <laughs> what is they talking about? What you you like, do? Whatever I'm ordering, I need to know the price of this shit. <laughs> what do you do? Put his hand over that like that? Yeah, that don't mean that. <laughs> even that ain't popping with you. That ain't popping with yeah. you. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is right there. I can't even read that right they now. They act like they're in the back fishing getting this shit. You know <laughs> no, what I'm saying? Like, no. come on. Is that what that's supposed to give the idea of? Yeah. Well, not like they're in the back, but it's like fresh, super fresh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Off the ice, yeah. uh, whatever it is going for in the market that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that you're in. Yeah. Because it like whatever, goes up in price. Yeah, it goes that, up in It like depends on what type of year it is. So if it's not in season, that means it's real rare, so it's going to be up in price. All right, if right, it's right. in season, it's going to probably be a little lower because it ain't, you know, they're fishing for it. If I ain't in Boston, if I ain't in Seattle, somewhere in Alaska, I'm, I'm, I'm cool on the crab. Or, or Baltimore, Baltimore, as rough as the city that is, that bomb crab, crab cakes in Baltimore, okay. if you ain't been there. 
I let me tell you why I believe you. Because I've never been to Baltimore, but I've gone to Mexico, mm. right? Before I went to Mexico, I did not like guacamole. I did not like I, it was I I would have it from different places and different places would, you know, make it season in different ways and every time it was it was nasty to me. I go to Mexico, I was on a uh on a on a resort. Mm -hmm. They brought that guacamole out. Wow. I don't even want no other food. That's how Just give me that. It just give me that. It's a couple it's places like, that I'm like that about, man. Like, all right, yeah, you know, I, it's a few places. So when I'm in, let's say, for instance, I'm in New England. Uh -huh. All right, if I'm in New England, Boston area, whatever, uh, Cape Cod, I, clam chowder. Like uh -huh. when they say the New England clam chowder, uh -huh. yeah. clam chowder. Uh -huh. if, if I'm in, uh, let's say, New Orleans or something uh -huh. like that, it got to be, you know, I don't want no, no crawfish or nothing from nowhere else. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, already know. Yeah. When we talk about cheese steaks, snacks, the hell, what am I talking about? There you go, baby. Go ahead. When you talk about, about the cheese steak, whatever they got on the Chicago menu, don't get that cheese steak. You go to Philadelphia and you get a cheese steak. I was in Philadelphia for three days. I ate cheese steaks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I'm saying? I had I had about six or seven cheese, and they're not cheap. They ten dollars a piece plus, right? Yeah. Cheese steak, and I was so stuffed. You know what I mean? Like I was constipated. I was yeah, eating cheese steaks with eggs. <laughs> cheese steaks. Cheese steaks with motherfucking Man, chips. Look. And then cheese steak with asparagus yeah. and rice on it for the Cheese steaks. I mean, and that's all I had. Uh, when when um. Oh, and, and, and barbecue. I mean, I, I tried normally barbecue from, but yeah. the best barbecue I've basically had was in Kansas City. Like hands down, they just got some of the best. So I really don't be wanting another barbecue. You know, it's just. Certain places, like if you go to Chicago, what else? You, you don't want an Italian beef. If some other place served Man. Italian beef or pizza, even pizza to an extent. Like, I don't really want no or pizza. Or gyros, too. Yeah, gyros. Chicago got it. You can't yeah. go nowhere else and find shit like that here, bro. Nah. You know, Detroit's supposed to have eight. I looked on the menu. I'm like, I don't want no gyro from no fucking Detroit. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like Chicago, B. Hot dog. Hey, Chicago is they? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, hey, Chicago, Chicago, it's Chicago versus everybody. Like yeah. how Detroit do. It's yeah, Detroit it's, versus yeah. everybody. Yeah, Chicago versus everybody. Y'all did that to yourself. Oh, man. So go ahead. We got the last out the way. Let's get on some serious shit. So. <laughs> uh, I didn't, we didn't put the video up yet because I got a few more edits that I want to add to the video. But last <laughs> episode that'll be before this one, uh -huh. um, we were talking about the guy with the seven... Yeah, baby mama. Seven kids and seven baby Yeah, the, uh, what do you call uh, intelligent, um... Intellectual uh, idiot or something like that? No, he was a uh, hypocrite house. house no, 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 no. He was called, uh... uh that, what we talking about? It don't matter. But, um... His name was the house of hypocrites. <laughs> Articulate dummy. Articulate oh, dummy. Oh, okay, that's the name of the... Yeah, yeah that's his name. Articulate dummy. <laughs> Allegedly. Because I ain't got no money for you to be suing me. But, um... So, I know you still stand on people promoting him, right? Mm -hmm. So, by your definition of promoting, mm -hmm. were we promoting him? To a by having extent? that conversation? To, to a certain extent, but we were telling how, yeah, to a certain extent, but we didn't have a more, yes, to a certain extent, because that type of stuff should get no light play, no nothing. We should act like they don't exist. Period. Point blank. People like that, we should not give them no platform. That's like, I sit up here and sell drugs all around the neighborhood every day. I'm a big drug pen, pen, pen. Every day. Uh, allegedly. This is hypothetical. It's hypothetical. It's hypothetical. Yeah, it's hypothetical. Uh, uh, every day. Always passing our books, yes. always doing the right thing, Allegedly. always helping kids go to school, <laughs> always uh, uh, helping kids go to school, always helping them with their school clothes, always doing everything he can out of his own pocket from his own money. But I got all this drug money. I pass out turkeys. I, you know, have my little toy drives and all that stuff. People going to champion me way more than their championship every day when he's doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. That's just like with a lot of these rappers. They sit up here and did all this wrong shit, but now you start passing out turkeys and shit. Now you cool. No, you still did all that bad shit, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, for him, he did that bad shit. We should not be championing him. He should be invisible. Mm -hmm. We should not be talking about him point blank, period. 
We should be just telling people that's not the way to go. We should not mention his name. We should not mention the situation. We should not mention none of that shit about him. Period. That's how my thing go. Yeah. But we know that's not going to fly because people like the toxic shit. Like uh, we were just talking. Like yeah. the controversy. Like the yeah. controversy. Yeah. So that's not going to fly. So we're going to have to give some type of controversy. But I don't think, I think us as black people, like J every day say all the time, it's not about like people as in general. It's about class of people. When you get up in money, when you get up in stature, when you get up in this and that thing, you get into a different bracket of people. Yeah. So therefore, it elevates you and how you act and react to things. Right. So if you with some rich people that are looking at poor people and they going all crazy, they thugs, they got their pants, they not reacting to that. They keep on going about their business. Mm -hmm. They never say nothing to them. They keep on moving. When you got money, you're not still hanging in the same hood as you was in. Right. Yeah, I, I'm all for that. And I was... The, <laughs> The reason why I asked that question, because, you know, we had our conversation. Yeah. But then I realized, like, wait. We did. We, we, we did. We did. By, we by, did. by my definition, by we did. Promoting. We did. We did. Because now we have people, when we put it out, they're going to go look them up. Just well, see what the fuck we was talking they about. they haven't seen it already, right? Yeah. We, but they're going to probably still look at it. If we, if we insert a clip in or whatever, people are still going to look it up. Just like how they say when people go viral for the wrong thing. Like, if the Breakfast Club mentioned us one time on their thing, they promoted us. They're going to give us probably like, we're going to go skyrocket. Yeah. So that's promotion. So him being on, uh, what's your boy name? Anton um, Daniels. Anton Daniels. The show with Anton Daniels got, he got a million and some followers, right? No, it's like over 100,000. Don't you think at least 30,000 of them going to go follow him? Yeah. 30,000, nah. No, no, I'm saying, it's going to be a decent amount that's going to flood to the center. Yeah, it will. He probably get, you know, 100, 200 people. But it, it's still something. Yeah, no, it's always something. Yeah, so, so yeah. that's what I'm, that's how Especially I just when at. you go live. Yeah. When you go live, you do garner a little bit more, um, you know, people. Yeah, because people just going down YouTube looking at stuff and it just pop up like, oh, they live. Let me go over here and check out, see what they're saying. And then it grab your attention to some of the things you're saying. So now you stay, your thing that went from two minutes, mm -hmm. five minutes. And then if you ain't got nothing to do, it went from five to 30 to 40 minutes. You've been sitting there watching this going on. And not to digress from really the topic, but what you just <laughs> said is really like um, people love uh toxicity is because like okay michael jordan gave like 10 million dollars to whoever whatever charity make a wish make a wish right yep. people had a problem with that like people yeah. had a problem with michael jordan. oh this is the biggest donation he gave it to these people you can give your money to whoever the fuck you want to Facts. at the end of the day this is your money Facts. you made it i don't care Facts. if you bought a product and you were whatever I, it's my money i can do whatever yes but but then there's some type of debate uh, you know whether right or wrong with, with, you know, John Morant situation. You know what I'm saying? It just seems like with NBA players, things that black people do is always some type of, we are addicted to the to toxicity or, or, or the toxic uh, nature of whatever, you know what I'm saying, that person is doing. But when it comes to actually good good things, good gestures, good values or whatever, it's like, oh, we got a weak chick. We got we make it toxic. Like, we got a problem with that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Got another one. Got another one. Who we talked about when he posted on the Amazon link. Kyrie uh, yeah, yeah, Kyrie, Kyrie yeah. yeah. Remember the girl? He went and he paid for a friend. Yeah. Then nobody said nobody that. talked about it. Sports Center didn't mention a thing about that. Mm. When he paid and he do and they say he do stuff like that all the time, mm -hmm. all the time. Oh. But soon as he posts and put a link about a book or something he was reading or something, worst that goes crazy. Top five worst nigga out. <laughs> he right behind uh, 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 what, what's his name? Uh, Kanye. No, 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 no. Worst nigga. Kanye. Uh, uh, I'm not the man. What's the other? Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what, what's the other dude? Uh, I'm not anyway. Go ahead. But no, that, but but you're 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 absolutely right on that. Which one? I, I think fair account. Minister fair account. Oh, Didn't think it was no. that. You know the white folks hate him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but 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 that's the thing though. We we go with the like, and then like, I was watching another podcast like ourselves. that got three gentlemen too. Uh, daily wrap up crew. The, they were talking to some women, right? Mm -hmm. And the woman said she didn't like because Cardi B got 10 cars. She could have did something in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And people say we use the B word all the time, but then that's when it come out of me. <laughs> Bitch, how you gonna tell her what to say about her fucking money? Yeah. Like, how are you gonna tell somebody how to spend their money that they made? How? If she, even if she can't drive them her cars it's her money you don't know how much money she done gave to charities and stuff because they don't blast that like that but you looking at because she got cars and she can't it's her money she can do whatever the fuck she want to do with it she go burn it for all the fuck we give a fuck yeah. that's her money 
do you think that there is we have to delineate between just stating our opinion on what it is that we're seeing versus trying to tell somebody what to do? Yes. Yes. Because yeah. I, I think that I think that's we just what whatever we see it could be a plane flying in the air it could be somebody driving it could be doing construction like we're just verbalizing what we're what our perception or, or what we think about what we're seeing I, th- I think we've had this conversation before though something similar not on the podcast but just in general what we're talking mm-hmm. and like we like I, at least I've said is that you don't know what to do until you'll say yep. what you yep. would yep. do yep. and all that. Yep. But it's not until you're in that person's shoes. It's not until you're in that situation that you're going to actually, let's see if you actually go through with what you're saying. You know, and like I said, I, we, if I, I hearken back on the John Morant, John Morant situation. Yeah. John Morant there, he has $200, 250000000 million, right? He signed that contract. But again, he's 21, 22 years old. Now, I remember me as a 21, 22 years old, you know, year old person. And I couldn't say, I can't say for sure that, I mean, obviously there are certain things I would have handled a little differently, right? But I can't say for sure that I would, I told my wife this, that I wouldn't been up in the goddamn strip club, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Throwing some money, you know what I'm saying? Just doing, wilding out. Yeah, I wouldn't right? have no gun though. I, I might have not had no gun, but. In I've been in a strip club though. Right, exactly. But it, even that, him being in a strip club got posted online. He's like, oh, look what this nigga's doing. Where all the athletes is not doing that. So I'm fact, saying, you're 21, 22 years old with $200 million. You're worth more than I guarantee you 99.9% of motherfucking planet Earth. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? And, and y'all want to tell me, oh, I would have did. No, you wouldn't have. I guarantee you wouldn't have. Because you, you niggas, you know what I'm saying? Y'all only know you got act with a shit of $100,000. Yeah. But more, I think more so we were talking about that, but I think more so we were talking about the people around him. Yeah. That's your older screw and all that stuff. They should be in your ear telling you what to do. Particularly his father. Yes. But that, his, that's father, what we, that's his father be doing. hanging and kicking it. Yeah, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> Like, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Acting a goddamn ass. Yeah. You got $200 million. What you, bro, mother had $2 million. Mother would literally pull down their pants and tell you to kiss my ass. Yeah. $200 million? Yeah. $200 million. I'm going cool. <laughs> I'm old as I am now. I'm going, I'm going cool going. for a little while. I'm going to be out here wild, and I ain't even going to lie to you. For the first couple months, I'm wild. You're going to see me do shit I ain't never say I was going to do. I'm out here wild then. And then, when y'all come in, hey, you, you about to fuck up the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you tripping, bro. You trading all our lives, and you out here showing your black ass out here. So Literally. Clip over there on my, my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wild. Because I think everybody would when you first get that money. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you start like, oh, Let I better stop. Back. Yeah. Before I lose all this money, because they give you a couple shots. Uh-huh. Now they hit you with the uh uh uh. Yeah. Your body shot like, but calm down. You know, hit you with your kidney. You have to <laughs> take a duck breath. You have to take a breath when the motherfucker hit you with your right. kidney. So therefore, it gets you to calm down a little bit. Like, okay, I gotta move like a business. I gotta move a little mm-hmm. bit more importantly. But I do think everybody, if anybody, we don't care who you is, if you come across that type of money, you wild. You can be fifty five. You wilding for a little bit. Oh, I'm not. I wouldn't do that. Face yes, you will. But I think most people was not talking about. <laughs> He's doing what he should be doing at 23. It's oh. the people around him I think most people was talking about. You should have a more mature group around you or your father should be grabbing you like you're going to fuck this up. I, I, think that's I really put the do. blame on the father. I really, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, because the people around him is going to be around his age. So they're going to be true. wilding too, right? Yeah, that's true. Our homie, you know yeah, what I'm saying? My, you my homie. Here, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here, 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 you know what I'm saying? Do that. You know what I'm saying? Go get that little brown over there. Do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you niggas love tricky. Yeah, do that, right? But yeah, sure. whatever it is that you do and when you have money, I feel like at the, at the end of the day, as long as it don't compromise your values, your yes, core yes, values, yes. whatever it is that you do, don't get money and then be like, oh, shit, nigga, like, this yes. money trumps all the values that I said I had when right. I was broke. No, <laughs> it can't be like that. Yeah. Look how dope Natasha is, bro. Look at him, man. Did that's the, ask him to do that? That's the, um, that's the, um... Um, what you call it? Oh, right? yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Didn't even ask her to do that. Appreciate that's the, um, Tasha. That's Thanks, the, um, the bag chasers, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's one thing I say I like about him. Yeah. Like, yeah. all y'all, I don't know what Anton did or what he said to y'all, but whatever he said to y'all that y'all fuck with each other like that, that's dope as hell. Like, I would let never me say question this that. Too about the, the Anton. Like, I was, um, I, was, I was looking through something, but I like how he, um, it was, it was, it was people who was making some money, right? Mm-hmm. One guy, he was making oh, like $130,000 yeah, a year. He and, analyzes it. And he yeah. analyzes I just like how he was able to, you know, <laughs> and, and those people <laughs> being forthright and being able to, you know, break down 
exactly um you know just break down exactly what they owe like that yeah. that was fun too but not necessarily fun but it was just interesting. definitely interesting and you know just being able to see that hey, damn people who make three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year you know what I mean you got people making three fifty three hundred thousand dollars a year they still um living paycheck to paycheck because they don't know how to you know balance and work their money like the one dude had one hundred seventeen thousand dollars in, in car debt. Like, dude. You know what it is, though? When my what kind of car talking, do you got, nigga? No, you know what it was? It wasn't even what kind of car he got. It was, he probably wanted to go buy a Porsche. A Porsche, right? Yeah. So he kept that for, and he, he didn't lease it. He bought it. Mm-hmm. Got that, paid off for two years, went and traded, got an Austin Martin. Got that, traded that, went and got something else, uh, a AMG BN63. Yeah. And all that compiled on top of that. Now you're paying $15,000 because you got... <laughs> Twenty to uh, two hundred or some thousand dollars in car payments or some shit like that. That's, yeah. that's exactly basically what he did. And I think things like that helps, you know, what I'm saying younger people like us or people even younger than us understand financial literacy. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Because like, I I can't say I really had anybody growing up showing me how to do you that's know so move X Y and Z. Not that, and I'm one of them people that you can't really tell me because then I feel some type of way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I wanted to be, show me. Yeah, I got to hit my head a few times. A but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, if I'm able to stumble across something, if you put out something and I'm able to stumble across it and learn from that way, I will learn from that way. Yeah. But it, it is interesting. You know, it do kind of help you, like, hey, dial back a little bit. And I think the best advice I ever heard somebody say, I don't know if somebody told me this, but I think I probably heard it from somebody. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you keep. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's always, always a bar. I don't care what else nobody else tell you. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money. And this rich people told says, I heard rich people say this, it's how much you keep. Yeah. Right. So, like, and don't be trying to go, uh, what it say? Don't be trying to, you trying to show people that's broke that you got money. Why? Yeah, what? that's true. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it be. It be like you trying to show motherfuckers who ain't got way less than you that you got money to some people that's broke. Why would I do that? Man, that's the thing in our culture, though. A lot of times we yep. like to stunt. Yep. You know, um, we like to show people that I, I don't know what the fuck we like to show. You know, <laughs> but it's just like we like to do it just to say, "Ah, oh, look, oh, I got more than you." Yep. You know, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and there's nothing wrong with having nice things and wanting nice things and things like that. But you got to make sure there's a difference between being able to buy it and being able to afford it. Yeah. You know, what I mean, like a lot of times, just because you got the credit card, like shit, you might have a credit card got ten thousand. Dollar limit, but how long is it gonna take for you to pay that yeah, off? off? man. You see what I'm Learned saying? Do you do you need to Learned do you need the, the whole hallway. five years of pay this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, off. You know, hey, so I'm like Jerry Dale now. When I hit my head hard on that motherfucker right there, baby, that was a nice lesson right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, they got a concussion hard. I hit my head on that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, I've been through my trials as far as keeping money or whatever, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm definitely a testament to that as well. It's actually said it's. No, it's not how much money you keep; it's how much money you can grow. Ooh, yeah. Ooh that's another bar, right? I like that one, Natasha. You got that from the bag chase. <laughs> you got that at that group chat, bitch. I know you, you got that. That's at that group chat. <laughs> we be speaking gang. Yeah, 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 that's at that group chat. Yeah. That's true too, Natasha. That's a hundred percent true. In addition to that, you do. Uh, Haru said, in addition yeah, to that, do you do your means. And that was the issue with the guy you were talking about. I'm actually trying to find the. Uh, the video where he was one because the, the one guy he had like um he made like one hundred thirty thousand dollars yeah. a year, but he had like a mortgage and a lot of times the mortgage would be messing up the game. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure if his wife worked. Mm-hmm. That was another thing I was kind of unclear about. But um like his mortgage was like twenty five hundred dollars a month. That twenty five hundred dollars a month is be beating the shit out of people. Yeah, and and he had a he had a <laughs> his clutch. He, he said yeah, that Discord is clutch. Yeah, what's up, IVR? Um, what but that, yeah, they, they, the show breaks down a pie chart of the person's expenses, and one of the, one of the expenses this dude had was like sixteen hundred dollars in helping. Other, I forget what the phrase was, but it was money that he gives to other people oh, to nah, help nah. them. Hell no, sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred a month. Oh no, nah. that's a what? That's a bill. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, was Wait. it? Because I didn't watch one of the full that. Well, that was the, the guy who made three hundred thousand dollars a month. No, this this dude made one hundred thirty nine. He 139? has sixteen hundred. White, white guy with the ball cap, oh. with the boys ball cap. No, it was black dude. Okay, I didn't see that. He got sixteen hundred a month. He helped other people. Put sixteen hundred uh-huh. a month. Uh-huh. Doing that. <laughs> I'm hope, generous. Uh, and every day, know I'm generous, but I ain't that damn generous. I, I hope he's um somehow filing out his taxes. Like he's gonna get. Hey, we're gonna have to recoup some of that. Hey man, I, 
IVR7, but that's like a Call of Duty game. IVR. <laughs> ain't gonna lie to you, but that's like a Call of Duty game. I'm gonna about. go make that class to you my game. I don't play no video game. I'm about this <laughs> <some> money. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, what do y'all think about the, the final decision with John Morant? What you mean? You he get, gets suspended and stuff? So, this is what they said, what threw me off, and this is why I. I take, well, an example of me taking words literally. Mm-hmm. When I hear suspended indefinitely. Yeah, a long time. I th- I'm thinking if, this for the yeah. If not permanent, yeah, right? Because, yeah. like, if you say a child has been suspended indefinitely mm-hmm. or 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 somebody get let go from their job indefinitely, mm-hmm. something like that, it's like, that's permanent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, mean, I think it definitely it's, it's means sound. until we come up with a decision. Yeah, we thinking I, about I it. learned that with this situation mm-hmm. because... First, it was like suspended for two games. Yeah. Then it said John Morant suspended indefinitely. There was so many stories then, coming out, bro. It was ridiculous. Right, and then they then they said officially eight games. Yeah, so that's not bad. He did good, man. Yeah. Show another bag. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's all sports that do that. I think it's just sports that do that. I don't think no other corporation or whatever. It's just sports that do the indefinite thing. Yeah. And that's because the commissioner and the, and the Whoever's over the thing is coming up with a decision to see give you an exact number. Now, right. if, he, if something right. else happened in John Morant, because look, I kind of been, I'm not the biggest John Morant fan, but I'm not a person to see. You know, I, I don't want the young brothers. That's to a go fact. Down I that, want him his prosperity. Hole. I want to see him grow. Exactly. So that being said, like if he do something else that's beyond, you know, what I mean, even worse than this or on the same level as this, whatever this was. Right. <laughs> but if you would do something again that caused so much, you know, yeah. hysteria and yeah. commotion or whatever, yeah. like, bro. I think I think this was his hit his head moment. Yeah, hopefully. I, hopefully, yeah. Because when you start getting, like, he had a signature shoe that they kind of dial back on. Yeah. His Power Aid commercials and stuff dial back on. Yeah. All, and you can say, oh, uh, white players don't do this, bro. We're not white. So we got to do what we're black for. We have to do. We got to get in line with what, what we have to get in line with. Is it true that we get punished more? Yes, it is. It is true. I'm not saying that it's not true. But at the same time, we can't be worried about white folks right now because that money is right there. So we got to go do what we need to do so he can fix his family and get that shit steady back rolling. So if they say he's suspended for eight games, all right, that's a massive. I'm going to spend eight games. I'm going to go ahead and straighten up so I get my money back again. That's just what you got to do right now. I'm not saying he's selling his soul to the devil. I'm not sitting up here saying, oh, he don't have no integrity that night. But they paying you right now, so you got to tighten up. If the company right now told us we got to do something, like the jab. If they told us we had to get the jab, much as I didn't want to get it, I'm in line to get the jab. I still got to provide for my family. Alone on that one, I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, job, <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah, I'm cool. All right. We all as men, we gotta make our own decision. I'm making my decision for my family. You're right. You're right. You're right. But to 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 your point, I do agree. Like, I think. So I was listening to some uh, an interview that he did when he was expo- he was. Who was it that was interviewing him? Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose. And he was like. Oh I'm, oh, I'm going to therapy now. I'm going to... Bro. For what? Hey, look here. They gave that man that strip. I had his ass reading that <laughs> shit for five days before they gave Jalen Rose that damn interview. You know exactly what they gave that man to do. His publicist gave him a strip and say, boy, you better not read. Not Don't say no word that ain't on this paper. You hear me? <laughs> say every word for word. We wrote what you need to write, what you need to say. Every word on this paper, you better not deviate from that shit. You know what I, I don't kind of understand, like people to, and I know they're athletes and they look, you know, they're held up on this different pedestal standard or whatever. But these a lot of times they come into money early. Yeah, right? it's so too early. Too early versus yeah. the average millionaire, or what we consider a millionaire and billionaire. They don't come. They don't become most billionaires. Don't become billionaires until they're after forty. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So you don't have. So they had time to make their mistakes. They had time to fuck up. Right, and yeah. then by the time when you're thirty or, or you're forty and fifty years old, like whatever, mm-hmm. all that other stuff was in the past, and then you didn't make connections or whatever. You can you can still have go to the strip clubs and you can whisper and throw some little money into such and such pocket and be cool about this. See, you don't know nothing about that. He don't really know nothing about the game, right? Because right. you're supposed to rent out the whole strip club. Hmm? You're supposed to rent out the whole strip club for the night. 
Yeah. But then again, and the strip club. Uh, yeah. Jail boy, you spray, you spray the uh, what's your face, the the, the cameras with black paint. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what, like, you want to be able to wipe it off with uh, uh the shit the shaving, shaving cream. Yeah, shaving cream. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. What happened too is the strip club leaked a picture of him getting a lap dance and stuff. Who's taking pictures? But him, if I was him, okay, yeah, y'all, that's how y'all doing. Change a whole circle. Ain't no change, ain't no change. No, it's the strip club that did that, not oh, nobody right. else. Right. You got to go hit that strip club up. Like, that's hey, boy, we not, yeah, yeah, we not even but coming back here no more. Matter of fact, I'm buying a fucking strip club. No, it's a lawsuit. I don't think you should be able to, be able to do that. You should not be like, and then especially when NBA players come in and spend their money. Yeah. Yeah. Here, that's a privacy thing. That's. What the elite of elite want is more privacy than anything. Mm. Once you break that privacy of doing some shit like that and leaking it to the press, your business is no longer getting that hot tail client no more. I'm not a fan of a lot of things that the leagues do, and leagues na- na- namely the NBA, NFL, and, and uh, baseball, MLB. Yeah. Uh, NBA, M- MLB? MLB. 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 Uh, like NFL. That. Yeah, NBA. all those guys. Like I'm not a fan of actually putting uh, uh, the, those guys' salary out. Right. We was talking about that, yeah. wasn't we? Yeah. We was in the gym talking about that. Yeah. yeah it's like, oh, you know, because now, now fans is like, oh, you making X, Y, and Z. And ain't none of your goddamn like, business what I'm making. Yo, no, no. You know, you can get a, a broad, if you Google, you should get a broad idea about how much they yeah. make, but that's not really none of your business. I make 99 cents. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's nobody's business. Yeah, it's so like, because I was saying that the other day too, like, I don't like how they blast and put their money on the thing. And then half of the time, okay, say a player sign. For one fifty in New York, one hundred and fifty million. Mm-hmm. He's not getting one hundred and fifty million because mm-hmm. he got to go taxes first. That's coming out top. Seventy five now. He's seventy five now. <laughs> then what? What is uh? What is agent? For the agent? Okay. Now you down to what? 50, 50 million? Yeah. Damn near. Yeah. Sixty. Yeah, something. Yeah. A lot of money. I never had that much. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So so I don't. I, I'm with you on that. I don't think. I think they should. They should have put that in their clause of. The CBA or whatever the union is, yeah. stop putting our salaries out here. They yeah. should not, our salary should not be public or whatever like that. It should be, like you say, if you want to do your quick Googles and try to figure out what much to make, okay, mm-hmm. go ahead and do your thing. Mm-hmm. You can do your thing for that. But as far as blasting out, oh, so, and then like when ESPN people, oh, John Morant just signed the extension for 150 something million dollars. Why is that the first thing that came out your mouth? Just, he just signed the extension. That's it. Yeah. That's all. I think that's a matter of public perception. You think he should be out there? I not necessarily should. OG said are the owner's salaries public. Nope. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Not at all, OG. Well, I think what happens is with a, with a lot of the owners, there are so many different uh, industries that you can, you know, you could probably you could probably look up one thing, but then not be able to look up others. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That so it's so kind of, yeah, they so they all buried. over the place. It's buried in LLC. But we know one thing is that they're owners, so they're <laughs> at least a billionaires. Yeah, that's <laughs> So what you trying to say now? So it was one random thing. You mentioned Kyrie earlier. Yeah. So one year during during the quarantine. Yeah. Kyrie, speaking of like how nobody talks about the good stuff people do. Yeah. Right. Kyrie, I learned this recently. Kyrie donated one point five million dollars mm-hmm. to the WNBA. That's a fact. Yeah. But but they don't look at that though. All of them, they was on the shop. It was a conversation, right? And Draymond Green was in this conversation. Draymond Green, the one who said, "I'm for what I'm gonna say." And there was a couple of WNBA players said that. And Draymond Green said to one of the WNBA players' face, "said I don't like how y'all sit up here and say that we should donate our salary to y'all when we help so much as it is. Right. We help tremendous." Go above and beyond, try to promote y'all game, but y'all talking about y'all want to take money out of our pockets. That was Lisa Leslie, by the way. Yeah, she was there, and I don't think that's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, 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 I just did quick math. How many salary? Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me add this part in there. The average salary for WNBA. Well, this NBC Sports says a hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah. How many games they play? About 20-something, 20, 20 yeah, to 30-something. I thought it was like 24. 20 to 30-something. It's, it's no more than 30, I don't think. But if he donated $1.5 million to that the helped w, a lot of people. I paid probably like 10 people's mm-hmm. salaries. Yeah. Close to like 10 people's salaries. Especially people on the lower rung of the yeah. spectrum. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. It was just, That was just a random fact. I've actually been meaning to say that for a long time. Yeah. Um, But it was just... 
crazy. It is what it is, man. They, I mean, WNBA, they have their flaws. They need better marketing. Uh, and, and to keep it a bean, like, to... They don't have the hunger. Just as like, all right, so we talked we talked about the, the professional athletes not mm-hmm. really having the hunger. Mm-hmm. How they do the, the load management thing. And, you know, they just don't have the, the hunger and the drive. But just like those guys um, not having the hunger and the drive, if you look at somebody who's coming from college, those yeah. college players, and uh, right now we're going through March Madness, you know, so, so whatever your team is, I really don't have one because everybody's getting upset, right? But, um... Those college players, because they're trying to get into league and they don't have a salary or anything like that, anything to right. fall back on, they have a hunger, they have a drive, they have a tenacity about them that makes them, you know what I'm saying, makes the game a little bit more exciting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Bro. That's, that's uh, college basketball, that's yeah. college football, that's yeah. even women, they even transferring into uh, women's basketball in yeah. college, right? Yeah, bro. <laughs> so you can tell, like, oh, yeah. it, it's much more exciting to watch those college collegiate sports versus actually watching these professionals. Yeah, Honestly, bro, I, I I was in somewhere, I forget where I was. I was watching a college women's basketball game and I was like hey, so if, they do this, if they do this, <laughs> this even <laughs> high school. Like when girls look girls high school, like, yeah. hey, like if they do this I might even watch a game or something. You know what I'm saying? For sure, man. It's college basketball be off the chain too. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. All, all that because they're trying to they're trying to get to that final destination, which is the league. You know what I mean? It's like once you make it to the league, all is accomplished, right? But and, and especially if you land that large contract. Yeah. You know, but back in the day when when you had real players playing, I mean, not to say these guys aren't real now, but when you had people playing, not only did we play for you know these contracts, um. But we played for bragging rights as well. Right. That was the good thing about Michael Jordan. That was the good thing about um, your, your, your Birds, your, your um, uh, Magic Johnson. Mm-hmm. Those guys wanted to be the best. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, hey, man, let's be bodies. You know what I'm saying? And like, You know what I'm saying? And still, don't, out together, and still don't win as many championships as you're supposed to. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, let's be buddies. That's gang up. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, no. You know what I mean? I want to, you know, I want to outshine you. You know what I mean? I want I want you to do your thing. Friendly, you friendly know? competition. Friendly competition. That was the thing between Michael, uh, 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 all those guys in that era. Charles, even though they couldn't beat Mike, you see what I'm saying? Mike had to step away. But that that brings a t- um some type of uh competitorship towards the game where where um it makes you want to strive and, and be the best and, and you know what I'm saying and make yeah. the game fun still. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like you can't let all roads lead to just getting to the league. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> that's hard. Like that's like a drop mic moment. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna keep going. Oh, like the Chris Rock thing? Oh no. no. <laughs> Pick up the mic, Chris Rock. <laughs> Keep going, bro. You stop seven minutes. Hey, that, that, that episode is coming out. We did it while I was sleeping. Yeah, my phone sleep. You want to go ahead and talk next one? Oh man. So real quick, this um, this last thing I'll bring up before we get to the main topic that I want to talk about. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, how we're ten minutes in? <laughs> Let's go, hey, man. Y'all can watch this. Chop this shit up as you're doing. You know, yeah. it is what it is. So, um, y'all heard about the Justice Smollett situation. What's going on with it right now? What happened this time? Nothing. <laughs> so, so the dudes that allegedly beat him up are coming oh, out with it. Oh my god! Man. I'm not reading no book. I, I'm I hate. No and we and it, and this gonna segue kind of in the next topic. I hate when people do wrong shit. You do wrong things. Okay, I see what it's going. Things. I see what it's going. You do wrong shit, but then all of a sudden now. He didn't you, even finish, and I see where this is going. <laughs> you, you, that was you, wrong. You, that was wrong. You, know, you know I was going to go ahead? No, I see where he's going to go ahead for the build-up. Oh, oh, so you do the wrong shit, and then all of a sudden now, because you come out and you want to tell the truth now, and everything want to be blasted, and you want to come clean now, you expect to get credit for that? You did the wrong shit for 10 years, 12 years, whatever you did the wrong stuff for. So how was that now? We supposed to forgive you and everything's supposed to be buddy buddy and we supposed to be cool and everything cool now. So what they they coming out with a book? Yes. Yeah, so, well, no, a documentary. <laughs> a documentary. Oh God, documentary. And, and niggas gonna watch. What, this what is this? The the night's leading. Well, who who picked this up? Netflix? Tubi? Oh like, come on, let me. <laughs> Tubi. 
Tubi? I watch it if it's on Tubi. I ain't gonna lie. The fuck I don't got Tubi. You know, I don't got it either. That's free, ain't it? Nope. It ain't. It ain't. It's like like seven, eight dollars a they month. Ship it. Two, I think Tubi like eight, seven, eight dollars a month. Ooh, I think my wife be watching Tubi. Where you get your Tubi account from? Um, so they're coming out with a documentary talking about how the whole situation really was a hoax and how the situation really was fake. It was all political, bro. And yeah, how yeah. and how they they're they're telling like their perception what from their standpoint of what was going on. Mm-hmm. So what do you what do y'all think about that? Like you already said yours, I'm sorry. Yeah. Unless you got more to say. Oh, it's it's I just hate people who like been doing the wrong shit, but then all of a sudden now you wanna have the high moral ground to like Tell everybody what happened or whatever like that. No, keep that same energy, bro. I'm about keeping the same energy. If that's what you do, keep lying. Don't tell me the truth. Keep lying. <laughs> keep lying. Like for you a liar. Keep lying. Do what you do. So did they ever get any time? Because I'm not sure if they any got if they got any time behind their um their parts in it because they were really lying. I'm not sure if they were under oath as far as perjury or I, not that I've heard. Okay, so because they came okay. clean. So at the end of the day, I really. This happened maybe three, four years ago. Yeah, something like that. Right, so it was really all a political scandal. I already understood all that. Like, you know, um, like, there's nobody walking around in Chicago with, with a noose. MAGA hats. <laughs> <And nooses. laughs> Throwing bleach and all this goof stuff. And, and it's like 30 below. Nobody, Nobody's doing that. So we already understood that. Um, I, I don't want to hear their side of the story. <laughs> Not at all. Not one bit. Like, I mean, hey, you guys. So they're Nigerian, right? Yeah. So hey, man, you guys are still citizens. You know, good luck to you. And and then (laughs) on top of what you said, many cameras that's downtown. Yeah. Ain't no none of this was caught on camera. They stupid. I mean, they hold the whole whoever planned this. I think expected them to get caught. Like this was like not nothing. You could have did in in like a way more. Inconspicuous way, yeah. you know what I mean. Like you could have yeah. did it, like, and then he come out and say, "Hey, this happened," right? Like these days, like you can't just get away with just silly fraud, yeah, and not expect to get caught. If somebody really wanted to do their due diligence and really do research about some stuff, like they'll they'll find out. Yeah, these internet streets, man, definitely. Mm-hmm. But the, the original situation happened in 2019, mm-hmm. and here we are four years later. They're coming still out. talking about this bullshit. It's not necessarily, well, I mean, I guess it's, we talk about what comes out in the public. You know yeah. what I mean? Whatever, whatever we find that's public. Yes, you know Jesse, I mean? Jesse Smollier. Juicy, 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 <laughs> juicy Smollier. Yeah. But I, I just <laughs> take it from the standpoint of, well, I didn't, I didn't really care. Chris Rock ain't got nothing of that. Hey, what? He ain't what? got no Juicy Smollier, <laughs> bro. Smollier. The man said, I fought back for all the gay kids. I want to show them that <laughs> What Chris Rock got? In it? I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, I hate you. said I wanted to fight back to show all the future gay kids that you can fight back and all this stuff. I didn't let them just take me like that. No juicy smoothie ace. Oh my god, man! Like, no he called himself the gay Tupac. Yeah. Mm. Come on, man. What are we doing? Hey, man. Tupac. What are we doing? Hey, hey. What Jay Z saying? Man? Tupac had a no ring, ring too, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, man? What are we doing? I don't know if that was a diss. I'm not sure if that was a diss or what yeah, was going on. Yeah, you still dissing the dick. Yeah. But that was nice. That was another know. transition. Do I care about these people having uh, somebody gave them a documentary? Like I said, we figure out who, who picked that up. That'd be interesting as far as on that program. But um, Oh, my God. You say I'm the gay too, bro. <laughs> and, uh, he, uh, I heard he's allegedly coming out with an album where, like, I mean, I think it was a joke to what I was seeing. But he's supposed to be coming out with an album where... He's going to say, all cheeks on me. I think that was one of the names of the song. Oh, no, all guys on me. The name of the album is going to be Bloody Cheeks. Oh, man. <laughs> Hang on, this is toxic. <laughs> It's toxic, what we say? It's saying? toxic, man. That's what they talking about? Yeah, that's what they talking about. They're going to oh cancel the no-key podcast. Hey, man. Making, not making fun of them, making fun of him, him in, yeah. in particular. Get your man. Like, Y'all should have got your man. Like, when you, like, like Is you said, it him or them or they or those? As far as or I know. Hey, or man, I stay away from that. I don't know. I stay away I'm from that. I'm just asking questions. Yeah. This is more, I was just asking questions. Mm, yeah, I, I, I know where you were going. going. Yeah. I was, as far I as I know. I stay away from those. We were just making fun of it. 
We <laughs> really just gonna keep. <laughs> okay. To the main course. So, to the main topic. Deborah Lee. Deborah Lee. Let people know who Deborah Lee is. They may not know. Deborah Lee is, well, I think she's the current owner of BET. She's CEO. not the owner. She's CEO. Not CEO. She's owned by Viacom. Sorry. CEO. You know they're trying to buy it. Yeah. It's like three, I think David, Dennis Johnson or David Johnson, Tyler Perry, and yeah, Puffy. Puffy. Yeah. yeah, I think we talked about that one. The Weather Channel. His nickname. Guy. Not, not AKA Dennis Johnson. Um, make. What's the winner? What's the Weather Channel? Yeah. <laughs> <Winter. laughs> But anyway, the weather channel guy. They all buy yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, I, I don't think Diddy really interested in buying it. He was trying to I get think he's just trying to flex his bag. Shit, yeah, he needs to be putting that money in. Uh, what's the other thing he got? Sean John. Yeah. No, no, he, he got a, he got his own um, revolt. Diddy had some fly ass clothes on Sean John. I, don't I ain't care what you. I had a whole bunch of Sean John. Sean was fly, man. That was that was flying to anything Kanye was putting out outside of Yeezy. I don't know what type of like clothing wise. Diddy hit it. So I'll, I'll I'll insert the original video on the when we do the pre- record the repost, but she's coming out with a memoir. You uh, talked about your working and personal candidate and talking about the triumphs and trials and the challenges, right. and you really want to help, especially women in the workplace. Right. You uh, talked about your working and personal relationship with your former boss at BET, Bob Johnson. Right. So what is your advice about that, um, the, the power dynamics mm-hmm. for women in the workplace? Right. Well, I wanted to tell that story because the power dynamics are so important in a relationship, and especially if you're having a relationship with someone you work for. Right. Uh, and we all know the potential pitfalls. Um, you know, I worked for Bob Johnson for 10 years before we had a personal romantic relationship Mm -hmm. and he was a mentor and he pushed me and you know he's responsible for a lot of my success Uh, we did have a a relationship while we were both married we ended up both divorced and then people knew about the relationship Uh, the company knew public we started going places together the the downfall of a relationship like that is if you want to get out of it and that's the part where it came and I wanted to break up I saw it wasn't a long-term relationship and my job and my career was held over my head and it was like well if you want to break up with me then you can leave tomorrow and that was, you know, 20 years into my career at BET, so I would have lost everything. Yeah. I would have lost my career, my job, my ability maybe to get another job because if I couldn't get a, a, a reference mm-hmm. for the person I worked for for 20 years, how do I explain that? And uh, by that time, I was a single mother with two children. Um, so it was a tough time, and I didn't have anyone to talk to about it because I didn't have female role models. There weren't a lot of women ahead of me. Uh, you know, I was embarrassed to talk to my family about it. Um, so it was a dark time, and what saved me was therapy, and eventually Bob left the company and I became CEO, uh, and I was CEO for 13 years without him being there and I was able a lot of success right and to live my dream and without you know any form of harassment so I guess after me too and time's up I wanted women to know there's other kind of harassment you know Mm -hmm. it's not all a man coming to the door in a robe you know that's not the kind of relationship I had it was one that grew into a relationship you know at times it felt consensual you know because we were out in public but after me too and time's up came back I sort of reevaluated the whole thing Mm. I said was this really my choice but it was so you were so candid about it and you're going to really help a lot of women who, who read this and have a, have a better understanding shout out to um, her i guess and she's talking about how about some, some previous dealings with the previous ceo bob the johnson owner, the owner that was the owner that was yeah. the owner okay. yeah, that was the owner. bob johnson I, I get the terms mixed up but uh-huh. previous dealings with him mm-hmm. and what so i i think this whole thing is blowing up Mm-hmm. Because it's about an, it's about the affair that they had. Yes. Um, but I think it's also a matter. Actually, you know what? Before I go further, so have, did y'all watch the video? I did. did you watch the video? Yeah, I watched the video too. So I seen it a long time ago. On, on, Cause you know I watch Breakfast. I mean I listen to Breakfast Club on the shot. So I've been heard about it. Whatever. So what what do you think? It's, to me, it's why. I read a, a, a nice comment because I like to read the comments to see what else other people think. And one of the comments said, "How is it harassment? And what else did you say? Assessment? And what else was it? Say? And challenging when it's two adults that had consent. I mean, they had you know had sex with each other. They had a relationship. She was an adult. Yeah, she consented. You're right. Mm-hmm. She could have consent to have sex with each other. So how was that assessment? How did he harass her? I think the problem was is that when she wanted to stop, she expected him to want to stop. So therefore, but she wanted to keep the position that she was in. It don't work like that. I, I don't know how that work out. You let yeah. me know, Joe. 
I ain't never had that. I ain't never had that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not for the Vlad B. <laughs> Man tried to just flag me, B. He just tried to flag me. No, no, he said that. he said it don't work like that, so I thought you had an alternate way of no, I don't I don't have none of that. But I'm saying How could you say this? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to make out. Look, the way I think, like She's trying to cause she she's obviously trying to get in on the bag. Yeah. From what I know, from what I know and understand about her, she was actually a lawyer. She got hired in as a lawyer. Okay. So therefore, if it was a problem back then, then she knew people. She knew people to reach out to, and you know, if he happened to fire her, she could do whatever. She then she could go do what she needed to do to get, get a lawsuit yeah, popping. Yeah, sure, you see sure. what I'm saying? So she really just trying to collect the bag right now. It's always time to throw smut on black people's name. You know what I'm saying? Like black billionaires or whatever it is. We got to throw some smut on their name before they go ahead and die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's time to move up, move the money to you know their children or whatever it is. I'm not sure if Bob Johnson have children. I assume so. But that's just something I'm thinking about. It's like why why come out with it now? You know why come out with it? You, you, you was a CEO, you know what I'm saying, under for BT and under Via, Viacom. Uh, under Viacom. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the hell I ain't, man. But you were the CEO for 13, 14 years. You see what I'm saying? You were able to, you know, move and mingle and do all this. I mean, he put you in the position. Now, whether or not you should have been involved in the relationship, why you both got, well, you both were married. That's a you fact. see what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's up on you. Now, all of a sudden, you want to stop. And, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He, he, he chose his... His hand, and, and he pulled the trump card. It's like, you can't work here no more. Well, your trump card was, you were a lawyer. Go holler at somebody about that. So, therefore, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. couldn't happen. Yeah. And, or if it did happen, you have legal means. I'm pretty sure there's all these different rights or whatever. But you but you saw, I guess, the, the, the rainbow at the end of the road or whatever they call it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You saw you saw the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel. And, and you say, you know what? I'm going to capitalize on this because... At the end of the day, that's that's what you were there for. You you're about, you're there. You were there chasing the bag, man. No. Yeah, I don't. Bro, it, like I was saying before, because I thought you was for a segue into this. <laughs> you spent ten years there before you got in a relationship with him, and then you spent like another five, six years before you talk about you want to move on. Now, how long has that situation been? Now, all of a sudden. You want to write a book and write a tell-all book. Now you want to tell your story to capitalize our money. Mm. And I, I don't like when people sit up here. It's just like you doing the wrong thing. And then when your, line, your light or whatever's starting to dim, oh, I got this. I've been holding this in my back pocket. I'm going to tell everybody this story so I get more money and so I get back in front of the lights and the cameras and the action or whatever. I don't know if that's the thing or the case. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe not. Maybe it's just because she's going to come out with a book. But I don't like it. When people sitting up here, we signed up for what we signed up for. We've been creeping around in hotels. We've been doing all this stuff. But now all of a sudden when the shit dying down and it's finna dim away and he got him a new side check, whatever the case may be, you want to sit up here now you want to have a high moral ground and tell everybody your story? Mm. Why you ain't have a moral ground before you slipped and fell and <laughs> before you did it? You was married and he was married, but y'all both did wrong. Mm. So now all of a sudden now, you want to drag his name through the mud? Because any kind of that could have been harassment. Yes. If, if you felt like he was coming on to you. Yeah. Any time that could have been harassment. But and then it's the same thing because you still had a, a you 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 took all the perks that came with it too. Yeah. Because you know you was around the office beating your chest in, yeah. talking about I could do what I want to do. You know you can do whatever the fuck you want to do because you sleeping with the boss's boss. Yeah. Sleeping with the high dude. Yeah. How they say the H uh, the. Uh, the uh, NIC, the uh, yeah, head yeah, nigga in charge. HNIC. Uh, yeah, HNIC. Yeah, yeah, the head nigga in charge. Yeah, you sleep with the head nigga in charge. Yeah. So you can do whatever the fuck you want to do around here. I just don't like people that do that. Now you if, got a heart. Yeah, now you got a heart and stuff like that. It's just like rats and shit. You did crime. Now you want to start telling to get your time reduced? Yeah. No. You got to take whatever come with that. That's part of your morals. You was doing wrong, so take whatever came with that. Now now you want to put this in your book? You should have just put it in your book and just wrote it and then put it out there. But you got to sell the books, though. You gotta sell those books. I would have almost even respected a little bit more if she had pulled it out. Okay, after I, you know what I'm saying, she passed away or whatever, these are my memoirs. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah. is the things that after I After you gone or dead, yeah. dead or gone, yeah. Not but, put it out as like a Me Too sexual That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? All that other stuff. It kind of almost looking then, like, but you was like that. You, you was cool with it. You was fucking them. Yeah. And, and that's what I don't like too. So now, this going to the Me Too movement mm -hmm. or something like that, right? This so-called going to the Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you were consensually sleeping with him too, mm -hmm. he did not 
do anything wrong to you and put no gun to your head to make you sleep with him from what you said. So, and then women say, yeah, girl, you go. I'm glad you're coming out. You got the courage. No, that's fucking up y'all movement. That's why I'm up for looking at y'all stupid when it's time like, and don't get me wrong. It's women out here that's actually been assaulted, that's mm -hmm. actually need the help, that's actually have, you know, motherfucker put them in the headlock and did some crazy things to them and stuff like that. I'm not trying to be, like, telling no jokes or nothing, but I'm saying actually shit has happened to them. But you had consensual sex, and you're talking about you're part of the Me Too movement? Come on, man. It's not cool. No, you're you're absolutely right, and that's... And this, so, hmm. you know when... When a dude goes and let's just say this is hypothetical a dude goes around and sleeps with a bunch of women uh -huh. right does the dude what do what do what would you think of a dude that's going around and, and and he's telling you all that would you think would you think oh congratulations you know kind of yeah, celebrate yeah, no. or no. would you or would you think that he should be keeping that behind his lips nigga you don't kiss and tell you don't kiss and tell. I'm not, I don't give a fuck what you done. You don't kiss and tell. You don't know. You so don't she do that. To sink ships. Yeah, you don't do that. You don't kiss Lose and tell. Lips. Sink ships. Yeah. So I'm now just when she come. No, 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 no. I'm just wondering. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. You know I'm gonna go to extreme too. <laughs> I'm just wondering why don't people have that same. Generally speaking, people have that sentiment. Don't kiss and tell. Yeah. Right. So it seems like. That's only acceptable with men. Oh, that that concept is only it can is. only be applied to men. That was something I thought about. I think that concept is only acceptable with men. So why is it not acceptable? Why why does nobody point the view or uh, point the finger at the woman who's who's the person that's equally or greater the equal or greater contributor to the situation? So I think men don't hold women to that same standard. That's a, that's a fact. Just like they don't hold us to the same standard when it comes to stuff. Yeah. it's true. If you, I mean, if you want something, if you want to, um, you know, combat something, you got to hold that person or women in general yeah. to that same standard at the end of the day. So, yeah. I mean, I think men create the standard. So if it's too low or too high or whatever it is, it's like, okay, we created that and that's the monster we got to deal with. Deborah Lee out here talking about some woman to woman. Call the lady up late night. I want to talk to you woman to woman. I need to get some things like my chat. <laughs> Deborah Lee, check it out, man. <laughs> she didn't call oh, the she lady. Got, How much woman she she just said woman to woman. I want to get this off my chest. Why does nobody, like, when it comes to a man doing something wrong, it's all big, all attention and all the shame goes to him, goes on him. That's Verbalize. a fact. That's a fact. You're Verbalize. right. That's a fact. You're right. Just like with the Adoka thing. He made, he made Adoka. Yeah. He yeah. get blasted, lose his job, lose everything. We don't even know who the fuck this woman is. I think the issue is that. You know, not to make an excuse for anybody in that situation. You know, those are both grown, consenting adults. Yeah. I think the issue is, again, he's in the public eye. He's mm -hmm. in public. You see what I'm saying? People know who he is yeah. versus who she is. And then at the yeah. end of the day, her, her husband kept her on the team. You know what I'm saying? He didn't divorce her. It was like, oh, look, I got an even bigger rock for fucking with the white, uh, the black dude. You know what I'm saying? The coach. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Look, it's always going to be double standards. It's double standards on the men's side where, you know what I'm saying, there's things that we get away with. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And then there's, there's going to be double standards where, things that's where they get away with. Women get away it's with. It's just a part of the game. You know, like I said, you know, how many times has a woman called a man a hoe and niggas don't give no fuck about nothing? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, so that's just a, you're a hoe too. Oh, oh, okay, and? You see what I'm saying? You going to let me fuck. Yeah. That's exactly the next word. So it, it, you it, say it, I'm it, a hoe, so when you going to let me fuck? It really boils down to that. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's things, again, that, you know, we have the upper hand, and they have the upper hand, too. But I do think the men set the standard. And if you allow certain things, then, shit, it just is what it is. I just I just think, okay, to, to, to your point, if we set the standard for things, we need to start shaming women for doing this stuff. What's the fuck? Like, you were, you were hanging out, kick, kicking it with this dude, for, so... In, in the video. How long she was in the race? I'm sorry, how long she was in the race? I was for? just about oh, to say okay, okay, so, okay, so okay. check me out. Because I was having this conversation with somebody else, and they and they said um, they didn't catch on. She didn't specify it in the, in the video. Okay, okay. So, so I kind of did some math, right? Mm -hmm. So she said she was working for BET 10 years before she started messing with him, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then she also in the video said she was worried about not leaving because... She wouldn't. She wouldn't be able to get a reference 
from a man, she, from somebody she had been working with for 20 years. So she was sleeping here for 10 years, too. Mm-hmm. That's a long ass time, bro. That's your boyfriend, too. Come on, man. She so was a mistress. He was definitely a concubine. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like so. So you were voluntarily doing this for ten, let's just say, according to this math, because you didn't specify. Allegedly, just put it. Uh, allegedly, ten years, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden you're a victim. That's how it works, though. When 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 women make a mistake, they're victims. <laughs> when when guys make a mistake, hey, you gotta live up to your consequences. You just how I go. Well, I mean, that's even you think about it, even that's even how you trade. it. You, you raise your kids, your, your boys versus your girls. Yeah, this you know what I'm saying? Like it's you, always your fault. <laughs> but your you boys, you're going you gonna to tell your boys it's always your fault. You yeah. should be there. You know what I'm saying? You should have been it's smarter. It's your girls. Hey, they shouldn't it's have okay. did that to it you. Did did that to that. you. It's I just understand. Sure. Like, it, it shouldn't be like that. But, you know, that's just the way of society. And it's not really until... Well, it's, it's boring. Honestly. Space, is, space is boring. Blood is boring. You well, can turn at the end of the day, it's not until um, the court system get involved. And, and the courts is like, hey, you know, like even just going going as far as um, uh, uh, putting allegations on a man that he did, you know, some type of sexual assault towards you or something. Right. So, I mean, that's criminal. If we find out you, you know what I'm saying, make sure that's what happened. Because right, right. if we find out, yeah. okay, your ass is going to jail. Your ass is going to jail. So, right. you better make Same sure. Well, you better make sure. For any amount, you know what I'm saying, We get as long as we get you some jail time. I'm not talking, this is felony. You know what I'm saying? So if you, I'm not. This isn't to scare you away from. You know what I'm saying? If something happened. Sure if something happens. happened. This isn't to scare you away from. However, if it did happen, make sure it happened. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, Those, right. You know, and then we can you know proceed with the process. I, I do believe in due process and everything like that. So I'm with you on that one, though. If you if you follow some follows because it didn't ru- ruin so many people's lives. Like it's a whole bunch of football players out here right now that. Ruin their careers because mm-hmm. a woman and say, "Oh, he did this to me, he did that." Now he's somewhere back at home, working for uh, the post office or some mm-hmm. shit. Right? Because he ain't can't be part of his career, or nothing like that no more. And because she didn't lie, then she come out fifteen years later. His his life is ruined. He could have made millions and millions of dollars. So and I think they should go to jail. You're right about that. And that's the reason why a lot of times when I came to the band, I went to a white high school where I was not dealing with the white girls. All right, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that it wasn't, you know, some of them wasn't pretty or some of them wasn't attractive. I'm scared. It was, nigga, I'm scared. I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might get jammed up. I had rather went to, if we talking about, you know, dealing with girls on the education side, I was on the right school. But if I wanted to deal with the girls, I had rather went to Proviso East. You know what I'm saying? I had rather went. Because, you know what I'm saying? I know it's a less likely chance. You know what I'm saying? These girls are going to be like, Making up shit about you know what I'm saying like I really did something to them. Right. So like me dealing with them, or uh, uh, them you know the, the caucus people like <laughs> it, it, it was less chance of me dealing with them because I didn't want to get jammed up in any of their bullshit. Right. That's right. a fact. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. We was talking. Stokey then was talking. He was talking about, and I told him the same thing. I say I've I've been around back in the day before I got engaged. This is before I had you know my relationship and all that stuff. Me and my homies used to go out. They used to be talking to him. I'm not quiet. Y'all know I ain't quiet. Mm. Nigga, that day I was quiet. Mm. Cause I don't trust them. I don't care what you say. I don't give a fuck how much you going. True story. Kids, you no lie. Back in the day when I had first moved back to Florida, me and my cousin them went out. They know this story verbatim. We in the club. This was when Jersey was back in the day. It was like three white white girls came up to me. Mm. And they just started talking. We was talking, we was chopping up. And I'm looking at them like, y'all know me or something? They thought I played football for University of Miami. Hey. So I got their number and all that. Then my cousin asked me later on, you know them? I'm like, no. And I was scared because I'm like, what the? Yeah. Right, I lost right, their right, number right, after right, that. But right. it was like I was scared because I didn't know like this is a setup. I didn't know what was going on. But it's just that the simple fact of that, I didn't see so many movies of where stuff like that did absolutely wrong. I've never seen it on a for you messing with a black female or anything like that. I've always seen it with them. So I've always been scared of them when it comes down to that and that type of thing. It happens with black women, but to a way less degree. Like, yes. You know what it, I mean? But yeah. it's, it's I, a, I don't want to put it with all, I don't want to say just white women does that. But I'm saying 
from our perspective of I've seen more white women say that about black dudes than I've seen of any other race doing it. If I were to do a, a spaces uh, a <laughs> percentage, yeah. I would say, I would veer to say, like, especially on a high school level or something, mm-hmm. I would veer to say something like 90%, and probably 90, 95% of those cases are, are, are from white women, are so from, black men, absolutely. than any other race. Absolutely. So. I, I do, I do agree. I think that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, uh, OG said, why do you always put them caveats on them, Ma? Uh? <laughs> you got to let them know. Hey, yeah. hey, ain't nothing going on. Hey, I ain't doing nothing, man. Yeah, I got, I'm going to get married, B. I ain't got nothing. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, yeah. I make some. No, let me just be quiet. And, and then, at the <laughs> the, let me just be quiet. At the end of the day, it's, it's, to me, it's like it's like that with the rest of the, like, the, rest of the uh Nationalities a group of people like the, the only ones I can say I could really trust. You know what I'm saying? Without you know, without being too nervous about it, it's yeah. just like black women. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they, they always they, try to look out for you, yeah. even if you did like, bro. And I know we say a lot of things about women. Period. Even when you do a black woman wrong, she still try to look out for you half the time. Yeah, a hundred percent. A hundred? Huh? A lot of the time, I don't. I can't say I, I can't generalize that. You can't say a lot of the time. I'm going from I'm going from my perspective though. Okay, got you, got you. I'm going just totally okay. for me because I didn't see some things where dudes have did black women dirty. Yeah, but I, they still tried to look out for them and not try to send them to jail, not try to do none of that stuff. Just say they be just like just leave me alone. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it be. Just leave me alone. I'm not gonna call no law. I'm not gonna call my brother. I'm not gonna tell nobody. Just leave me alone. Or something is not you know not as dire as that, but I would say you know, something like child support, where a black woman will work with you. She would try to. If if she know you getting money right, you yeah. you got enough money or whatever. She a lot of them will work with you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Right, a lot of them. Right, a lot of them will work with you. So she don't have to put you on the system. Yep, and you don't call me. Don't put it, Johnny Law on your business. Exactly, a lot of them will. Yeah, you know, uh-huh. I'm not. But uh, other groups is like, all right, put that motherfucker on. Yeah. He getting child money. support. Not to say black women won't put yeah. you on child support because there are plenty that will. Yeah, it will. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, a lot of them will also work with you. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I agree. And that's the only reason mm-hmm. I said a lot of them is because I seen it personally. I yeah. wouldn't have said what I said in the high number if I didn't see it personally. I've seen it to where. Black women will look out for you. It is something out there that do wrong and do dirt. I'm not saying all, but majority from what I've seen. Oh, it, it's, a them lot. Motherfuckers it's a lot. They, they will set you up too. No, no, yeah, yes, they will. Yes, they will. Don't get no sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get crooked. Yeah, they will. Yes, they will. They will. They will get down with you. Look, look, they hey, will well, still. Yeah, but I didn't seen a lot of them where. Ain't no uh, angels. They, out for they will yeah. set you up. Yeah, yeah they will get down yeah. with you. But I've seen and, and these dudes getting killed out west and out south because they get backdoored. Yeah. Bad and bride. You know what I'm saying? You ain't lying. That's keeping it being. I'm, I'm right across the board. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. So, what I think Deborah Lee is trying to shy away from. That's is, what we was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I think she's trying to shy away from is. She slept her way to the top, allegedly. Yeah. I'll say allegedly because I ain't got no money for for no whatever. Whatever. I ain't got nothing for you. But this I was fired on that part. This a LLC. <laughs> this a LLC anyway. You have to do the podcast. <laughs> we, right. We got no dollars in there, so whatever. But you think so though? You think you think she's trying to cover up when she slept her way to the top? I think she is, bro. And this this is full on personal theory. It's not. I can agree it's, with it's that. It's unfounded because it's just the the timing is weird, right? Yeah. So you and, and again, this is from from what I've been able to research. I guess you could say that from as much as I can. He steps down, and she replaces him. Mm-hmm. What are the odds of that? You you got hired on. BET as a lawyer is from what I understand. How you go from being a lawyer for BET to being CEO? So when you're dealing with the, the CEO, owner. you're doing the owner. So what? Because this happened when he sold it, right? She became the CEO, right? Yes. Yeah. So he could probably put that in a in a buy clause, like, oh, if I sell this to y'all, she got to be still able to run it. And no man gains the world without selling their soul, right? So would you think a person who's a billionaire gained the world? 
I would think so, right? Even, even if you don't, okay? I think a person is a billionaire gained the world. And I think at a certain point, it's not about what you want to do. It's about whatever the powers that be tell you to do. If they tell Bob Johnson he had to sell that motherfucker, mm. you got to sell that motherfucker, right? Yeah. And then we're going to let Bob Johnson go out, and you know what I'm saying? Not in no glory. What's going to happen is he's going to sit in the background. Okay, such and such. Well, Deborah Lee, it's your turn to tell some bullshit about that. For all we know, this shit could be fake as hell. That's true. This could be fake, the, the, the most made up shit ever. I was waiting you know what I'm saying? You know I'm going to throw my tin for a yeah. coffee. You know I was waiting for him because... He's sitting over there playing around and shit. When he was going to come? Look, he man, made his hell, B. Man, I, I know, but you know what? We two hours in it. Damn near, so I might as well. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But that's all I'm saying is that because a lot of shit don't even... This shit really don't even make sense. <laughs> None of it makes sense. You literally just said you had a relationship with the man for for ten years or whatever, twenty ten whatever years you didn't had a long relationship with the man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody even thinking about Bob Johnson. They talking about selling BET. Bob Johnson shouldn't name shouldn't be in, and you come out with a book. <laughs> Is that to sell you know, BET? She, like she was grown as hell when this when this went on. It wasn't like she was in her she was in her thirties probably when this shit was going on. Yeah. Playing so baby went, boy yeah, yeah, night yeah. in and night out on that shit. Right. Baby boy. <laughs> baby boy started at one. It's going to come back on No, no, no. Baby no, she had one more though. She had drumline too. Drumline. Drum line was your baby line boy and drumline. Yeah. What's wrong with her? Same four episodes of Damn. Martin. Terrible. <laughs> Matter of fact, when since she had taken over, uh, since she took over uh, uh, ahead, uh, uh, B, I stopped watching this shit. I stopped watching. BET was decent until she took it over. That's so once it went over, transferred. Free, bro, once it transferred over to Viacom and she became CEO, I stopped watching that shit. And it's not because I knew that was her. It was just that whole format. Everything that they was doing was just trash. It wasn't BET anymore. It wasn't authentic. You see what I mean? Like they were trying too hard. Yeah, they were they were trying to be more mainstream and bring you know what I mean other other, other, other people, groups yeah, and other collectors. It's for them. Yeah. It's for us. Yeah. But when it, didn't that's when AJ and Free left too? When they, people started crying. I think AJ so. And AJ and Free. Oh, that was maybe oh five. Yeah. When they sold it, yeah. That's when they. That's when AJ and Free them left, right? They they left. They left after left after that. I do believe. Hey, well. And then Bow Wow came on there. I know. I was, I know. I'm about to get married and all, but AJ and Free was thick as hell. I know. That's why I, uh, <laughs> I, I heard she had a baby by Jay Z allegedly. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Tata gonna come see you. You want to say that? You said allegedly. Well, I said allegedly. Todd, don't come see me. <laughs> Todd, Todd, don't come see you. I, I, he I, jumped I, over. This, 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 ain't new, this ain't New York. <laughs> this ain't New York. This ain't New York. And, and, I, hey, I'm gonna and, let you know and, too. And, and I stay out west, so hey, this, this ain't even. I'm gonna let you know too, boy. Hey, I be with my dog oh. all the time. You think I ain't that, mm-hmm. but I am. Oh, <laughs> don't, let, don't let it be nighttime. He gonna creep up <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> Draymond Green, your ass. <laughs> I'm trying to help him and be with him and he want to crack jokes on me. <laughs> I'm cracking jokes because they said that goddamn Chris Rock special. <laughs> Go watch this. Put this shit over there. Go watch this, this shit. Uh, one you put? It don't even matter. They said that shit was decent. That shit was trash. But that, that you know, the Dream Mind Green shit. Whatever. whatever, whatever oh, shit, man. They left it. Uh, AJ and Free left in 2005. Right. July so that's around the time. A little bit of after I think they sold. Yeah. That's when they had Bow Wow on there. No, no, that wasn't Bow Wow. That was uh, Roxy and Ter- Roxy and Terrence was okay. It was all right. yeah, they they was, was okay. Little... But as soon as they brought Bow Wow, yeah, little bow so they're wow. talking about he Mr. 106 <laughs> Apart. When Mr. 106 Apart got that, that shit was trash. Little Bow Wow. You just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the way you move so fast across the floor. <laughs> Your sister acting like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, oh my God! This is a funny too. episode. I just think we, I'm just I'm just tired of all these, just like the 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 Nigerian guys with the Jesse Smollett thing, just like any other situation we've had in the past where a woman waits, even with the Bill Cosby situation, for whatever you wait twenty th- well maybe not twenty thirty years in her case, but you wait all this time, you are you were okay with what was going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Space is on or something? Yeah, then all of a sudden, you want you just want to out somebody. Yeah. yeah. Those people need shame, too. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why I say I don't like I don't like people who all of a sudden now you want to get a moral ground. You've been this slimy and this doing this all this time. Now you want to have a moral compass? No, it don't work like that. I was scared. 
I ain't trying to hear that shit. Yeah, she, and she, when, she, when he sent that wire through, you weren't scared. You took the wire. Right? You know what I'm You saying? took the wire, but you weren't scared of taking that wire. That's a paper trail. You know they can get bank records of that, right? You weren't scared of that. And then I, I, I the bre- on the Breakfast Club, they said that um, there's two sides to the story. Like, we need to we need to hear I know exactly his what story, right? Go ahead, go ahead. Then they said... Nah, he shouldn't say nothing. No, no, it was one specific person. I mean, one one person that said that. No, it was, it was it was it was definitely definitely envy. I don't think envy said it, bro. Go ahead and listen to it again. I'm, I'm dancing because I remember Charlemagne was saying we need to hear everybody's side of the story, and Portia said oh, no nah, that we should just no one hear our story. He don't need to say nothing. Mm. That's what she said. She said it verbatim. Go back and listen to it. She said it verbatim. We don't need to listen to her story. When Charlemagne was saying, we need to hear all the facts, Bob Johnson needs to come out and tell his side too now. And she was like, nah, this where women empowerment. She just needs to shut up and just take this. I'm like, what? First of all, Porsche is a better fit for the breakfast club. (laughs) Let me say that. She's a better look. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Uh -uh. But, you know, she's going to have to lean... When you have a woman on there, you know what I'm saying, there's no disrespect, but you got to lean in that direction. You're going to have to have somebody who's going to have a little opposing view. So you're going to have her. She's going to have the opposing view. It's going to lean left, mm-hmm. right, from whatever men are thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you're going to have these two cornballs that's going to both lean left as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this is going <laughs> to... Like, nobody... You, you have no really, like, real staunch conservative person on there that's going to stick up and speak up for men. Even though sometimes... I will say that um, um, Charlemagne sometimes he do kind of he yes. will he will have a little nudge a little punch pushback but envy oh this nigga straight bitch and that ain't even allegedly <laughs> <laughs> but 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 she did say that though if you go back and listen to it I'm she listen. did she did say that and if I'm wrong I'm wrong come at me hit me but I'm I know I heard what I heard because I rewind that shit like did she just say he should not say nothing and try to defend himself we might get dunked the other day because I said. It's yeah, okay. So right. Please give that to us. Please do. Please yeah, us. Yeah, please do. <laughs> but yeah, please do. Hee haw. Hee haw. Give it to us. That's yeah. me. That's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I put that video right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to us. Go ahead. Please do. Go Naps, ahead. Naps and Beauty, mm-hmm. back, back me up. Back me up. Towards the end of the video, because it, it's in the link, it's in the chat. Yeah. Towards the end of the video, was it just Portia that said he shouldn't say anything or did you also hear a male voice which i believe is uh, uh envy or envy. i believe it was envy. i think all, all, i believe all three of them said it but charlamagne gave him at least gave him said he yeah he, he said he uh, yeah he did you remember him saying that yeah I remember he charlamagne did say it. oh yeah. he said he said no we need to hear all three sides of the story and i don't think envy said anything i don't I, think so i thought I, I, envy was like nah now she wants the name of the book i want to read the book yeah she about to tell you why she wrote it and mm-hmm. then we'll tell you the name of the book People see me come out on stage once a year at the BT Awards, mm-hmm. and I didn't like doing that. I also talked in a book about how I'm an introvert and pretty shy. But I came out so that our audience knew a, a black woman ran the network. Mm-hmm. And that was making a huge statement. And I still have young girls come up to me and say, you know, you're an example, Miss Lee, thank you. I have young black men come up to me sure. and say, Miss Lee, thank you for what you did for the culture. Mm-hmm. And it always warms my heart. So again, I wanted people to know my whole story, yeah. that it's not all glamorous. You think Bob Johnson will respond to any of this? He shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. He really shouldn't. I mean, there's two sides to the story. So my, my idea oh. of it is I'm not <laughs> sure if he should or shouldn't. Like, at this point, my man what, 80 some years old. Like, should yeah. I even give a fuck? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, my name is my but, name. I already... But why would... Ain't criminal charges. Yeah, yeah but I understand. That's him if he want to do that. But I would never say... It. Oh, don't say nothing, bro. Just let her say what. Yeah. No, I'm not going to say that. No, as a, no, as another man, I'm not saying... And yeah. I wouldn't say that you know, publicly, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, if I was, like, somebody who is a yeah, advisor close to me, or something, yeah, I, I was, hey, bro, swipe that, bro. You're yeah. 60, you 80, yeah, yeah. 83, 89 years old. Like, you, you, like like a, you know what I'm saying? You finna die in a few years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's tomorrow, gonna... Tomorrow, exactly. They have to schedule for the go tomorrow. Well, what the... Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the most tomorrow. they gonna do is update your Wikipedia and say yeah. a controversy with Debra Lee. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> a book sold, like, what? 100 copies? Nobody's buying that shit, but niggas don't even read. <laughs> like book you read, and I ain't for read that anyway. See, though. that's what I'm saying. Shit. So this, I mean, for for whatever it's worth, Celebrity Net Worth says she's worth thirty million. That's a lot mm, of bread that she done made by you know, fucking with the homie for you know ten years, <laughs> being on the homie's whole platform. That's his platform. He just having to sell it. 
That's his platform, though. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I mean? So, that's pretty good. That's a decent amount of bread to be a concubine. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but but do, you think, do you think at some point, like, even in her case, we're just gonna say hypothetically, you doing something like that, at some point you just gotta be like, I'm gonna just eat that shit. You like for him? You no, know, her, in the situation. Like, I'm not writing no book. I'm not telling nobody. I'm taking this shit to the grave. I'm not Wait, telling I nobody. I think that's a person, like I said, either put it out as memoirs or have some integrity and just shut the fuck up about it. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. I okay. think those are the two best. Like, what do you really seek to gain from... from Dragging from, his name through the mud, from, saying that, saying oh, he told you if you quit, you got to... You gonna, I mean, if he told you if you leave him, you fired too. Yeah. It, it, well, if I'm not mistaken, did they say everybody knew about it? Yeah, it was public. They were in public. They, she said in what the video that they, about, yeah. they'd be outside together, going on vacations yeah. together, all that. So, it will, like, what? So, man. Hey, man. Hey. hey. Those, those people deserve shame as well. I, real, I'm, I'm with you on that, though. I, I'm, I'm with you on that from, like, you dragging somebody's name through the mud and you saying something. You don't just because you came out and you, oh, I'm going to speak the truth now. I'm going to speak the truth. No, you still did what you did, though. Right. You need some shame too. So, De- uh, Naps and Beauty said Deborah is upset she's off his payroll. He might have another young lady in the cut too. Mm, that's a nice. That's that's good. I see. I see what a see what a bloodline running now, one, baby. You thinking like your brother on that one, baby? You the oldest? You the oldest? Yeah. yeah you talk that. You talk that down. Hey, look, man, go read this. This how you come at these. Right? Even this if I wasn't this. old, she still learned from me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what's in the uh, the J everyday family right there. Well, I, didn't, uh, I don't know if she's mad about not being on the payroll. She's worth thirty million. So, and this is why I think this is another conspiracy theory of mine about this situation. I think she she's a whole lawyer, right? Uh huh. So she knew that what she was doing was unethical, mm-hmm. right? Uh mm-hmm. I think. When she tried to leave, and he held her job and her position over her head, mm. she she said, "You you want to what? I can ruin you. Get the ruin, then. I can. And so instead of her allowing him, uh, instead of him allowing her, you know that situation going down, he was like, you know what? Just take BT. Yeah." And That's my conspiracy theory. That is a good thought. And then, and then, just the throw salt in the wound after she's done with BET is like, and another thing, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, and then another thing, you know, like, I, yeah, so. you know, you should have hit her with when she told me I can ruin you. Bitch, I can get you off. Well, I feel like, I, you know, you ever seen Magic? Uh, David Copperfield make yeah. people disappear. Uh, I wouldn't have told her that though. <laughs> I was just happy. It made yeah. it happen. It made it happen. Fuck around and try. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around and try. My reach is longer than my speech. <laughs> told her my reach is longer than my speech. So try it, please. Sheesh. That should have been named this part. My reach. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. He, he talking real cash money shit right there, boy, when you say shit like that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a, that's all I have for that. Yeah, I'm cool, too. It's another good part, man. man. Good part. It's a good part. Like talking. Y'all be having me. OG said, Brown and Harvard University education. She's not a dummy by any means. Facts. Mm. Facts. Ivy Leagues. There you go. We were just discussing that too the other other day in the gym, man. I'm trying to, we be having some dope conversations. We up here literally talking about Ivy League colleges Mm -hmm. and who's the smartest schools and stuff like that. All right, man. So, yeah, yeah, I got anything else you want to talk about before we go? Mm. No, I think. A wrap, man. We almost hit it with two hours. We yeah. appreciate you all for uh, uh, just staying up, staying with us, right? So please uh, comment if you got any additional comments in the comment bar, though, yeah. not in the chat. Uh, and then definitely uh, like, like, review, subscribe, review, subscribe, and all that other jazz, man. Thank you, thank it's, you, thank you, thank you. It's another thing too. Uh, a lot of people don't know. And another well, thing. Well, we we actually <laughs> are on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well, yeah. and we have a lot more episodes than what's on YouTube that's on Spotify started, and Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Yeah, that's when we was in the real back cave. Yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> real back cave. Dungeons. Like, yeah. Well, One, what, two o'clock in the morning recording. Yeah. Well, we want sp- no man. We about three. What is it? We about three hours. Uh, three hours. We about three. Uh, three years into this, right? Yeah. Going on third. Yeah, yeah. So going on third. You know. We did. Yeah, we started doing the pandemic. 
I can say last that. on the night. I can say pandemic, right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they said that in the list of words that you gave us. You didn't read your list? You didn't read the rule book? We started in the pancreas. No, did you read the rule book? <laughs> did you read the rule book? Where is it at? I don't know. You didn't read the rule book? Mm-hmm. You know what the rule, last rule in the rule book is, right? If you do not read the rule book, your head will be shaved. You know, I just learned that other day. <laughs> I really just paid attention to it. Oh, oh, I really didn't want to, like, because I ain't watch Drumline like that, man. Fuck that. They ain't, anything that Nick Cannon played, it really ain't, nah. Drumline it, though. Drumline was fire. That was it. Drumline, that drumline was fire. That kind of made me, that was one of the things. Will Smith that. played in that, too. He's just a big boy. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you said Will made it and we was in up? Well, that shit was Dang. garbage. <laughs> <laughs> we just still talking. Bro, you know that scene where he was giving a ticket to his dad in the in the, in the the booth to get on the train or whatever? Yeah. Somebody said, that is Nick Cannon in real life now. Because in, in that scene, he said, I was supposed, like, you're supposed to be having a whole bunch of kids. Something about having a whole bunch of kids and not taking care of them. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that too. Yeah, somebody I saw it online. Somebody said that that's Nick Cannon in real life now. The hell is this? I'm Devin. What? I'm Devin. I've been coming down here every day for the last two weeks, thinking if I should give you that ticket to my graduation. I changed my mind. Look, man, I just want to let you know that I got my diploma. I ain't never been arrested. I don't have a whole bunch of kids running around. Can't in real life now. And that's one of the things I do like doing is as many movies as they put out, and I was speaking to Stogie about it, as many new movies as they put out today, um, I like going back and rewatching a lot of the old things because it's things that maybe I missed yeah. when I was younger. You know, just watching it off of entertainment versus, you know, uh, gems and nuggets that they dropped yeah. along the way in those older movies. You know, especially black movies. Yeah. Because those yeah, black yeah. movies, those black sitcoms, they dropped a lot of gems and yeah. I think we kind of missed it. No, you know what it was? We were so younger. Mm-hmm. We're Now we're much more older, much more mature. So mine is way more open and expanded. Yeah, so exactly. you know, oh... Key words that, oh, that's what he really meant by this. Oh, that's what they really meant mm-hmm. by this. That's, that's all that is, really. That's exactly how I feel about Martin. Mm-hmm. When I like when I was a little kid, it would be on TV, the grown-ups would be going crazy, laughing. Yeah, laughing. Just, now you'd be laughing like a motherfucker, huh? Yeah, yeah, some years later. It was literally like maybe two, three, four years later. <sighs> Choking. Martin really? is laughing. literally the funniest sitcom. Bro, but they had a... Bro, when you really look at it, right, you had Martin, Fresh Prince... I would put Wayans Brothers up there because that was pretty funny, funny too. Funny. The Jamie Foxx show, and I wouldn't know what it'd be. And that's in no type of order. But I'm saying them kind of them five right there. You yeah. had my wife and kids. Different, uh, not different world. Yeah, different, different world. world. I'm talking about comedian, comedy though. I'm, I'm just strictly talking about comedy, like comedy though. Yeah, I want about like serious shit. Um, oh, comedies. Um, yeah. um, oh, living color. Oh shit. Living Colors, the what? They, had, the, they the was fucking market. up Mad TV. I don't know where. I, I was watching. I one time I was watching Living Color because I used to watch that. That was that was my dad's stuff. You watch Living Color, so I watched Living Color too, right? Funny, even as a kid. And then like everybody was talking about Mad TV, so I wanted I wanted to go watch Mad TV. I'm like, what the fuck is so funny about this? Like, it was not funny to me. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of like Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live. Like, none of that shit really be oh, that Saturday funny. Oh, Saturday Night Live ain't never really funny. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I need to go rewatch some shit and, you know, do what I'm doing with these uh, old black sitcoms and, and movies, but... All right, man. So, I'll just close this out with a message. It's not, it's not really long and super deep, and like, like a lot of times they are. Drink water. But it's... I came across this book. I was listening to a Breakfast Club interview. It's this dude named Jason Wilson. And in on the Breakfast Club interview, he mentioned his book. And I was, I forget, oh my goodness, the book by Jason Wilson. But it, it's about, um, it's, it's kind of it like a biography. Yeah, I'll put it in. But it's, it's, so it's, it's, it's a really good book. It's a really good book. Something, it's something to listen to. And I didn't find it. Uh, on YouTube, I actually listened to it through Audible. But it's Battle Cry. Thing, is it? My no. Battle Cry. Cry like a man. And Battle Cry. Well, that's not the book I was talking about. Oh, excuse me. 
<laughs> so don't read that book by Deborah Lee. Read this. Cry like a man. <laughs> Jason Wilson, cry like a man. Check it out. It's in. It's a short read too. Yeah. It's not. It's not long at all. Yeah. It's definitely something to. I think you would really like it. So you trying to say I need to cry? Relate to it. Cry like a man. You trying to say I need to cry? I probably do need to cry. <laughs> Two a year. I had one. I probably need one. Two a year. Yeah, I probably need one. I, I had was gonna one. Say that you finna get married. You I'm not. Hell no, I'm not. Boy, I'm finna have uh, a ball. All right. I'm finna. Boy, I'm telling you, I already been. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better not see a tear. Uh, a tear counts as a cry. Oh uh, shit! I'm gonna be crying when I see that fucking bill. <laughs> Sheesh! I don't even want to think about it. But. Thank you guys for, for tuning in to the live today. Thank you very much, very much. Go check out our old episodes on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, this is, um, oh, also go check out the No Absolutes podcast with Will Hill. Oh, yeah. He's a great guy. Salute. He's on the billboard. Yeah. So fact he was on the billboard. On the billboard. I saw that. I can't wait to go on vacation so I can go uh, see another one of his comedy shows. I'm going on Monday, too. I'm on vacation this week. This week? Yeah. Uh, this has been another edition of the No Key Podcast. Wear your crown, build your legacy. Kings is your man. Spaces. Hey, let me drop a, a health tip because I feel like Spaces has been lacking on the health tips. You gotta, you gotta check your triglycerides, <laughs> your, your, uh, uh, your trans fats, your, your polyunsaturated fats. This is day every day, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is your boy Mo, man. Meeting the germ, man. <laughs> check your triglycerides, man. Your trans fats.